Wait, where is it? It's on Twitter. Nikolai Yezno Yezov, Yezov. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash socialism sock done left. It's sock done left, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Ice axe, not ice pick. I, I would just like to say that um, I think it is totally valid to critique me for these statements. I think it is totally valid to be uncomfortable even with me for these statements. Um, it is not your duty to trust me. Um, because I like am disavowing these old statements. It's not your duty to like trust the white guy who made edgy racist statements um, in the past. It's my duty to try and earn it back from you. So I'm not, you know, I guess I'm just trying to say that I think it is totally fine to be um, unsatisfied uh, we miss the with this alone. Ones? I need to like demonstrate oh, improvement. Okay. So. Um, it's okay. The Let's things that going. I'm going to try and do going forward to improve, like I said, I'm literally reading Black Nationalist literature. I actually started that right before um, these things came out publicly. Um, I am going to be um, trying to have more conversations with Black creators um, and even potentially Black Nationalist creators. Um, and I know that in particular, I am trying to look into. Um, the history of the struggles and the repression that uh, black Americans have faced in the United States. Oh, we can um, start from the beginning here. So, Oh wait, for real. Okay. I, I just want to say that I, I, let's start from the beginning then. Let, yeah, let's start from the beginning. Let's do the beginning one instead of being the live exact one here. Let's do it. Here we go. We're going to start from the beginning. That way we can catch it all. Here we go. All right, let's do this. All right. Appleggy, I can't even spell. All right. Hello, everyone. So today I would like to address um, several allegations that have been made against me in the past two days. Um, my goal is to separate um, what's true from what's lies, what's false. Um, and I also want to apologize to anyone who's been harmed by any statements that I've made in the past. So I, before we start, um, I just want to say that it's great uh, a lot it's of great. people, um, have asked me like, why did you delete your tweets? Why did you like private your videos? I, I received, um, I, I, I was doing okay, but I started receiving really um, hurtful Twitter messages. I started receiving people, seeing people posting about personal information, and it was incredibly stressful to me. Um, and so that's part of the reason that I've taken so long to put this together. Um, and I, basically, I just I felt like I had to, I wanted to like nuke everything because I didn't want people to, I don't know, find personal information or anything like that. So I don't think that was the best response. I think it made me look more guilty, and I understand that. But I, I think it's a. I guess I don't know what else to say, but it's a natural response. You're about response. to find out post scarcity. I think You're about to find out. Just in, chill. I guess more of the panic I was in to sit. seeing so much personal information shared. Yeah, you're about to find out. So, I'm gonna grab some food. With that said, um, I've attempted to compile. Um, a whole lot of pictures about the various allegations made against it's me. All good. It's all good. So it's I want to start out with the one that I consider to be real and hurtful and worth apologizing for um, in, in, in totality. So 
this is the allegation Ooh. that I posted That's bigoted, an oversight. Um, statements in the Destiny Discord server in 2019 and early 2020. Um, and I think this one is accurate. Um, I, I don't have um, like a, a deep apology for these. I don't want to say that they're false. I don't want to pin the blame on anyone else. Um, I, I just, um, I just basically want to look through some examples, explain why they're problematic, uh, why I've moved away from that rhetoric, that language, and um, I guess just offer my apologies. So, I, the first, I, I guess, what I would, what I, as, as context, I would say that. Um, the, these statements are not my genuine beliefs. I had extremely edgy humor. I joined, that's not an excuse. Um, I joined a Discord to debate fascists. Um, and as a result, a lot of my rhetoric and a lot of my early um, conversations were against fascism. Um, so all of these, regardless of how poorly they got there were intended, um, I think, uh, to oppose like race realism, to oppose fascism. So some of these are simple shock humor. Um, I, I sorry, I should be clear. Some of these were just were just like jokes or were just making statements that were just like bigoted or shock humor. Um, these were not like not all of these statements were like very high minded intellectual ways to try and take out um, the fascist uh, threat they, or whatever. As far as I know, but or any all, constantly maybe? back in the time the day, I was in the mindset of like. Um, opposing fascism, and it was what I was researching, what was on my mind. Um, so, I guess that's the context that I'll give there. I think they used data. I think that I some of correctly. these things, for example, this statement um, that for years the Jews have thieved neurons from whites and injected them into their tits. I think there's plenty of statements like this that I think are pretty fairly obviously shock humor and not worth believing. So I think these faded away pretty quickly. These are not what people are worried about. The much worse statements are ones like this. So in this one, I say, blacks have big lips because they need more surface area when they suck a homie's big black cock. This is evolutionary science. Please to smash like and subscribe. This, I think, is pretty obviously objectionable. This is unacceptable. Um, I don't support this. Um, the context that I would give to this to try and explain why I'm saying, hey, this is evolutionary science, please just smash like and subscribe, is that we were talking about uh, a race realist YouTuber called Jean-Francois Garriepi. Um, and his theory, and the, the theory yeah, of a whole lot of race right. realists, um, is that, Thanks, uh, I'll do that. There, there's something called RK selection, and that certain people are just innately more sexual, um, because, again, of the RK's theory, there's like a psychology of it, and so they think that certain like races of people are just innately more sexual. And it's just obvious bullshit. I won't get too much into the details of it, but RK theory would predict that as people got richer, they have more children. The exact opposite is the case. Um, so the point here, I, this is an example where I think context adds like the tiniest bit of charity, um, was to try and critique race realist views about like race and sexuality. However, I think that again, this statement is like grossly unacceptable. Um, and so I don't think that it's worth, um, I, I just want to apologize for anyone who's harmed by statements like this, because I don't think that these are acceptable. Yeah, um, you're right. I don't know. I'm doing my best. All right, everybody. So, oh no, it changed both of them. Um, a statement that got some play. Some people said, uh, some people quoted this. So I said that in America, uh, blacks, black people are shorter and fatter than white people. Um, the context of this again is race realism. It's that people will say things like, oh, black people are like genetically predisposed towards like, um, like athletic, uh, like ability. Um, and so even, even people who are liberals will sometimes say stuff like this. And I think it's actually really, um, harmful that they say things like this. So the immediate context of this, um, is that I post things like this. This started, as um, South Koreans like 30 minutes have ago? risen in income. They have grown to almost the height of Americans. This is true. Um, the biggest predictor of height and size is not race. It's nothing to do with ethnicity. Um, it's it, it's income, basically. It's nutrition. Um, similarly, 
there's this study which I posted, which formally quantifies this. This is, I think, an old study, and it found that, quote, ancestry can only explain 2 to 4% of the differences in size of babies. So not only is this something that we observe in adults, but it's something we observe in infants as well. Um, okay. So I think these messages are that like that the message about height is towards the like justifiable side. The message about like lips is clearly in the unjustifiable side. And there's messages that I don't think any context can make acceptable, um, like or even even effect whatsoever. So for example, um, this statement I think is totally unacceptable. Um, and were Ooh. I like were I participating in one of my communities today, I would probably have like banned or muted myself. I don't think that statements like this are acceptable. Um, similarly, I would often use like the phrase um, blacks instead of black people. I don't think this is acceptable. I don't think that is acceptable to like uh, talk about people as like monoliths or I um, groups of people one. as monoliths as if like everyone in the group all fits those characteristics. I don't think that this kind of rhetoric is acceptable. Um, so I, I just really want to drive home that I don't support these statements. Um, and I don't, I, I really want to apologize to anyone who's hurt by seeing these statements. Um, I know th there are many more statements like this. Um, so I just want to apologize for all of them. I think that the last statement that got uh, a, a lot of attention was this one that I said, quote, black nationalism is also cancer. And this is one that I have more recently um, developed a lot on because I started, ooh, wait, where is it? I started reading like Franz Fanon. I read, I've been starting to read, I'll be honest, I've only got to the Sartre intro um, of The Wretched of the Earth. Um, and I've started reading black nationalist literature and I had ooh, been of the view, you and I, you know, this, is, this is white ignorance on my part, um, that black nationalism is more or less equivalent to black separatism. And I don't believe uh, that. Um, like I, I grossly I want sure to reject why. that view that I held in the past, Maybe that black either. nationalism is equivalent to separatism. Um, there's like a um, there's like a large literature that I've been introduced to um, by black nationalists and by people who support black nationalism. Um, and I, I have like totally changed my views on that topic. So in short, I guess I just want to say, like, again, I don't think these statements are acceptable. Um, I, I'm trying to totally own that I said these and that I don't think that I um, should have. I don't think that I understood the ramifications of saying that at the time. Um, and I do now. That's and I grossly, I, I just apologize as much as I possibly can. Um, I, I would just like to say that... Um, I think it is totally valid to critique me for these statements. I think it is totally valid to be uncomfortable even with me for these statements. Um, it is not your duty to trust me um, because I like am disavowing these old statements. It's not your duty to like trust the white guy who made edgy racist statements um, in the past. It's my duty to try and earn it back from you. So. I'm not. I know there is. Yeah, know, cookie. We'll I guess I'm just trying to say that I think it is totally fine to be um, unsatisfied um, for, with this alone. I need to like demonstrate improvement. So um, the things that I'm going to try and do going forward to improve, like I said, I'm literally reading black nationalist literature. I actually started that right before um, these things came out publicly. Um, I am going to be. Um, trying to have more conversations with black creators um, and even potentially black nationalist creators. Um, and I know that in particular, I am trying to look into um, the history of the struggles and the repression that uh, black Americans have faced in the United States. Um, so yeah, me too, I, I just that. want to say that I, I think it's my duty to try and win back um, your trust so it's entirely valid to be distrustful of me as a result of these statements. Oh, I got to refresh it real quick. Okay, so let me refresh this. Right. Oh, okay. It's an indefinite ban. You... So but none of okay. these DMs were real. I created... I, I think it's my duty to try and win back um, your trust. 
So it's entirely valid to be distrustful of me as a result of these statements. All right, let's continue. So, um, heavy shit. I, I, I really, really want to apologize for that. Um, I think that the next set of statements, there's, there's the whole category of shit that is just false. Um, I think the, the stuff on bigotry and I think the racism, um, is, is just not acceptable. Um, and so there, there's a reason I've tried to push against it and there's a reason I'm trying to improve. Um, so with that said, um, I think that a lot of the other statements that are more adjacent, um, are just bullshit. So the, the first set of false allegations mostly centers on things coming from one person named a, a rat. So, um, these were widely shared initially. Um, these three statements among others. And all of these come from um, basically fabricated DMs with rat. Um, so rat has since come out on Twitter and said, quote, all right, this was all a shit post. I am just a friend of SDL that found the situation laughable. I am Jewish, but none of these DMs were real. I created some of them, and to my knowledge, the rest are faked as well. They said the same thing in another Twitter thread. Again, I'm just, this was all just a shit post. They reiterated in a longer, sorry. So as to the question of like why they did this, um, in short, the, the, the answer is meaningless internet serotonin. Um, they, uh, as they explain in a later tweet, um, enjoyed the attention and they enjoyed, um, I guess, the, the fun of thinking that like someone could be canceled um, over something that is fake. So to read part of their full message, um, which they posted on Twitter, I knew SDL when he was first starting out. We'd meme about what it would be like when he blew up, which include jokes about potential cancellations. This spiraled into me screenshotting DMs out of context and editing them to be as hard as possible. I'd post them in his Discord to make other members freak out before explaining or adding context. It was a childish act to elicit childish amusement. SDL gained more of a following over the years and eventually had some Twitter beef with random users. The idea that a decently well-known Twitter leftist like Mel would try to cancel SDL over faked DMs was morbidly amusing to me, so I lied to them and sent them these faked screenshots. However, in early April 2020, I saw people seriously spreading these DMs and saw the harm that it was causing SDL. I realized that the morbid amusement had gone too far. I stopped faking the DMs. Yesterday, yeah, April 23rd, I made go the poor it. decision to lapse back into this behavior, which is why um, some of those previous DMs included some of the fake DMs. Sorry, some of those previous Twitter messages included the fake DMs uh, and immediately regretted it after they relapsed. I want to apologize for those that have been harmed by these messages. I, uh, some people are asking me to turn off chat and I, as far as I'm aware, I don't, I can't. If, if you know how a command for that, I'd be happy to do so. Um, all I knew is that there's a subs only mode, which is what I did. Um, So if you've got a command for me, I'll happily do it. Much love, Fawn. Much love. Oh, and so something I was going to say at the end um, is that all of the donations that I get here, I want to donate towards um, the Trans Lifeline charity. <laughs> I wanted, um, or per, if um, that was the charity initially that I wanted to donate um, to for any any donations that came in today, um, but if people have like other suggestions, I'd be happy to hear those as well. Um, so don't feel the need to donate no donate to me. I'm doing absolutely fine. Uh, but anything that does get donated to me is going to Trans Lifeline. All right. It seems like Kira said it in a mode which makes it very hard for people to chat. So. 
Thank you. Um, because I I'm not trying to make money off this goddamn horrible situation. Just trying. I'm at this point. I'm basically just trying to get out um, what I see as the truth and trying to apologize for everything that was fake. Um. So I guess the final thing on rat is just some people. Um, a lot of people are trying to say that like it's fake. Um, that like rat would never do this. This is just DMs with rat and a friend of mine named Merrick, who um said, uh, yes, the Twitter that I posted before is their Twitter. And again, saying, quote, I faked the screenshots and sent them to Mel. Um, oops. I faked the screenshots and sent them to Mel, at Chaos's Mail, to try and bait her into canceling SDL over false allegations. I made a post on Twitter saying so, but obviously didn't get as much attention as everything else. So just trying to double down that a lot of these DMs that are very public um, are fake. They aren't real. Um, oops, cat. So I do want to apologize um, for anyone who was harmed by these DMs because like whether they're real or not, um, you can still be harmed by these messages, particularly if you feel that I'm expressing these messages. So I, I just want to again apologize for anyone who was harmed um, by any of these statements um, that came from the appearance of my mouth anyway. Um, so I don't... I want to disavow these statements, but also to say that they aren't mine in the first place. A lot of people. So next, um, the third allegation, um, which I think is utterly false, is um, that I've seen repeated, is that um, I. <laughs> this is just, I guess, a standard thing. Whenever um, the whenever allegations of like um, sexual assault or sexual harassment come out um, people are asserting that I have like attempted to get nudes from minors um, this is just not something that anyone who like was looking into this or originally was involved in some of the allegations that came out um, has said it all so this is a screenshot from the discord admin right to be armed lol who said quote uh, I don't understand how anyone could accuse me of soliciting nudes for minors, because that literally never even got brought up during any of Destiny's moderation. If it did, that wouldn't just be a Discord ban, it would be reported to the police. Uh, I have seen zero evidence uh, that SDL did anything like that. Feel free to share a pic of this message on Twitter if you want. What he did wasn't good, in my opinion, but that's another level of shit, and he doesn't deserve false claims like that. This is the moderator who put together the ban, um that was circulating on Twitter. This ban reads that I was banned from Destiny's Discord server on April 1st for, quote, consistent behavior on and off the server of sexual harassment and misconduct towards trans women. Destiny, if you decide to unban them, then I hope that you talk to us beforehand for compiled logs. If or when they change, we can let them back into the community. But until then, there are enough folks uncomfortable with their presence here that it warrants an indefinite ban. So, there are um, two, well, I guess there's three things that came out of this. Um, so the first thing that came out of this is that people asserted that I had been like keeping a nude server, uh, which I don't think is present in this ban log, um, but um, definitely it was very, very common on Twitter that people were asserting that I had a secret vault server where I was like maintaining everyone's nudes. Um, so I, I can't like prove that I wasn't doing something. Um, the basic thing that I'd like to make clear is that I, okay, so in, in short, um, there is, was a separate server called moderation done left, which kept all of the standard logs that large servers have. It moderates, um, it logs whenever a moderator does anything. It moderate. It logs whenever um, someone deletes a message. It moderate. It logs whenever someone edits a message, and it logs whenever someone uploads a file. So any image, any movie, or whatever, uh, like MP4 sort of thing. Um, it all gets like uploaded there. And the basic reason why is that it makes it a lot harder for people to um, post something and delete it before getting moderated. Um, so. 
uh, like the, the classic example would be if someone posted gore and then deleted it. Um, if you didn't have the logs of what they posted, you couldn't know what they posted, and so you couldn't moderate them. Um, so everything that was posted in the server went here. It was not like some sneaky nude server. Moreover, it was not a secret server because every moderator had access to it because it was for the intention of moderation. Um, so I, I can't, like, at this point, the server has been, like, entirely deleted um, and paired back. Um, all of the logs are now actually on Discord on left. It's not even a separate server. And all of the janitors have access to all of them except the files one, which moderators still have access to, um, just because the files could occasionally contain stuff that's, like, gore. Um, and I don't, I don't know. I've, I've considered giving it to all the janitors. I just don't know if I want to get, make everyone have the duty to look at stuff like that. So, um, in short, uh, all of this stuff is now just on discord. It's like not even a, a discord on left. It's not even a separate server anymore. Um, what I can say to demonstrate that, um, the server, the, the separate server called moderation done left was not like a secret new vault server, um, is basically just appeal to the moderators who had access to it. Um, so I have gotten a quote from every one of the moderators who was a moderator at the time. Um, and so in order, we have a statement from Jess. Jess says, I am not sure how to phrase this. There is no secret nude vault server. <laughs> Some sort of furry thing. Um, there is no fucking nude server, you creepy internet hate mob. Next, we have oh, Gaboblin, which is much longer, and who writes, Moderation done left was just a logging server for Discord done left. It's useful for when people lie about stuff they post, keeping track of moderation so mods don't abuse their power. The logging server was store images posted from text channels, and if anything sus was going down in there, it would be from the NSFW Pills channel. Uh, we deleted the text channel and logging server altogether, moving the logging over to the main server Discord done left recently, so all moderators have access to the logs. They always did. Um, I, this is pretty much just exactly what I said. Um, uh, the Malarxist says, this server was definitely not a secret nude server. If I remember right, we made it like that because we had reason to believe that there was a Discord exploit that would allow people to see the content of hidden mod chats in the main. Oh yeah, I gotta refresh again. 2510, such a weird thing. Sorry, everybody. In the main server, um, which turned out to be, uh, without getting into too it's much of the, the details, the claim that um, people could use a Refresh. certain Discord client to see hidden chats it's didn't turn out to be true, for, but it was reason we made thing. a separate server in the first place. We didn't want people um, to just be able to see everything mods were saying or everything that the logs were collecting um, I'll get my thoughts afterwards. by just installing some client. It turns out that's not true, and that's why we moved it all back. Um, also to make it so that janitors can see everything and try and be more um, more responsive. Yeah. So um, in short, oh, and the final one, of course, from Kira. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. The log server just auto-logged, ugh, too big, um, what people deleted so that we can ban people who are breaking the rules and then deleting what they wrote. So, um, well, in short, we'll talk about it after. Uh, from what I recall, the the concern about the exploit was about something called better Discord, um, and the concern was that it would let you see the content of of channels that were hidden to them. But it turns out it only let you see the name, and so it turned out this wasn't true, and so I just moved it all back. Um, so I, in short, I think the allegation that there was a secret nude vault server is like dead wrong. <laughs> So, of course, I do apologize to anyone who believed this and thought that this was true of me. Um, I don't want, if you were harmed by that statement um, or that belief, then like, I apologize for that. I don't, it's not true, but I still don't want people to be harmed by that. The next statement is um, basically that related to the ban message, which is again that I have a history of sexual harassment and misconduct towards trans women. There were much more hyperbolic statements posted on Twitter. Um, 
And those statements included things like, oh, every trans person who joins his Discord um, gets like a, a message like, hey, can I get nudes or something? Um, or it was like he recruits, uh, I recruit like barely legal trans teenagers into my mod team so that I can like groom them and get nudes from them. Um, and I can't prove, like I can't prove, like, so I've compiled a, a bunch of statements from moderators and from trans people in my community. I can't prove that I don't like actively seek out trans women because presumably those would be in DMs these people don't have. And I don't think that any of the stuff that I'm going to present um, can disprove any of the other allegations because it's proving a negative. Um, and, and so I, I think that um, all I wanted to demonstrate with these statements is that um, the claim that I'm like constantly pursuing every trans woman around me is not true. So this is only able to disprove the extreme statements. It can't disprove that I am like otherwise problematic in my behavior. Um, so I just want to be clear there that I'm not trying to say that these statements prove that I'm like a morally upstanding person. Um, only that they're proving that I'm not like insanely negative behavior as a person. So um, the first statement comes from Jessica again, who is a moderator in my server. Jessica is a trans woman. She says, and she's been moderating on my server for I think two years now. She says, as a trans woman and a mod for a while in Discord done left, SDL has never behaved inappropriately towards me or asked for news or anything of the sort. And I haven't been seen or been made aware of them behaving this way towards anyone else on the mod team. Jessica approved statement meme. The next one comes from Melody. Melody, I think, just reinforces what I was trying to get at in my statement about proving a negative, but also not trying to discount other um, statements from other people. Uh, quote, I'm a trans woman, and I've been an openly trans member of SDL's moderation team and broader community for months. While I don't have the grounds or information to dismiss the allegations others have made whole cloth, it would be irresponsible of me to do so. This is what I'm trying to get at. I don't think that these positive statements can disprove negative statements um, about my character. Um, I have personally never been solici solicited for nudes or been the recipient of any other kind of unwanted sexual advance by SDL. The most racy conversation we've ever had boiled down to them asking for femboy fashion advice. The next statement comes from Roxy. Roxy says, quote, hey, got SDL is one of the least chasery people I have ever met. Um, I've barely even seen him flirt with anyone. Hell, I've tried flirting with him, and every single time, without fail, he thinks I'm joking and wasn't actually trying to flirt. He's always fucking surprised when he finds out people are legitimately flirting online. This is common enough to being a running joke between us, in fact. Frankly, I find the accusation of barely legal trans women to be pretty insulting, because it would imply there's anything wrong with a legal consenting adult flirting with whoever she pleases. As a mod for STL server, I took great personal offense to the comment about his mod team being barely legal trans women, as that necessarily involved me. This is all tangential again, because I have never seen STL engage in flirty behavior in general. So those were all mods. Um, and... Um, I would say that I have posted um, I, I have certainly done sexual humor. I'm not going to deny any of that. However, I have, um, never, as far as I'm aware, actually tried to, um, like, get sexually involved with Roxy or anyone, um, of the moderation team. Um, I haven't pursued a romantic relationship for about one and a half years. Um, so, in short, um, while there are statements of me that like might be in the sexual humor category those statements were virtually never meant like as trying to pursue a relationship or trying to pursue like images from someone um so final post and this one is from someone who is not a moderator but is a member of my community synth who says quote during all the times I've known you, I have even flirted with you, and I've watched a shit ton of other trans girls flirt with you, but you've never reciprocated. Specifically, if they're talking about a mod of yours, there has been like four to five months, an ample opportunity for something to have happen, yet nothing has. So, I I don't want to say, um, I'm, I'm sure, so I guess this gets into a little bit yeah, of um, the ban reason again. 
I think, um, I think that it is possible that, um, I, in short, I can't comment on things that I can't see. None of, none of the information in this band message has been made available to me. Um, so I am unaware at, at the current time of any inappropriate sexual conversations that I've had um, with someone. Um, and I've never purposefully cost someone's boundaries. I will say that it's possible that I unintentionally did so, or that I unintentionally harmed someone. Um, and um, I do want to apologize to anyone who feels that I have crossed their boundaries, but that was certainly not my intention to do so. Finally, um, the fourth allegation, which I don't think holds much merit, um, is part of this band reason. So the initial thing that got us all started was a person called Miso, M-I-S-0, posting allegations um, that um, I had like attempted to like get news from them or something. Um, and I think that, again, this falls into the category of sexual humor, and uh, I think that in Miso's case, it is clearly... In short, I think the personal history between Miso and I um, tends to lead to the belief that um, they were retributing against me. Um, so I think that in addition, the context of Miso and I's conversation uh, demonstrate that um, Miso... So, okay, let me just put it like this. Anyone who was in Discord done left um, from like 2019 to 2020 and talked with Miso knows that Miso would like constantly talk about sexual topics. They would constantly talk about their sexual exploits. They would constantly use sexual humor. Uh, and that's what I'll show in some of these DMs. Um, and I also engaged in some sexual humor, but none of it genuine. I was never attempting to pursue a relationship with Miso, nor did I ever get nudes from Miso or send nudes to Miso or try to get anything of that sort from Miso. I was not and am not interested in a relationship with Miso. Um, so, for example, um, one of the earlier messages in my DMs with Miso is I ask, hey, you down for Stellaris? I say, fuck you, fuck Stellaris, fuck your whole server, fuck your friends, and fuck the world that you live on, motherfucker. Don't ever message me again, or I'll call Navy SEAL paratroopers to drop onto whatever fucking cave you live in, and cut off your tiny cock and throw it into Lennon's open display case. K, okay, I'm getting on in one second. So this is the general tenor of communications with Miso. Um, one of the first messages that they posted of communications that I had with Miso, um, this is what I've been made aware of publicly, I say, Method asks that you stop hating them. Method was a person on the server. Also, give me booty pics within 10 seconds or I'm revoking brought vibe privileges. In context, um, <laughs> the booty pics thing doesn't make much more sense, but the sexual conversation thing is certainly there. Miso writes, Chug the cum and fug your mum, cum farmer, harvester of cum. They talk about some meme um, relating to like Elizabeth Warren, that there's big structural change, class consciousness, and racial justice. They talk about a username called Pussyhound420. And then I say, Method asks that you stop hating them. And I repeat the, the booty fix comment, um, which was not meant genuinely. And then they respond to the Method the claim, um, to who it may concern. I do not hate Method, though I would like to be capable of disliking yeah, them. And they go on for quite some things. time. Um, I think that this fits the general tenor of my statements with Miso. For example, I said, send feet pics, I pay big dollar dollar dollar, and I repeated it twice. This was not meant genuinely, this was a joke, and I never received or actually tried to obtain feet pics from Miso. Similarly, um, this one I think is another example of an unacceptable and extremely edgy joke, which I would never repeat today and I would condemn, um, which is also however clearly not meant genuinely. This one reads, all right, time to sexually harass my followers. Damn, my dick is still dry, and yet you possess lips. What's the deal? Again, I condemn this, and I condemn this rhetoric, but I don't think this, gen this demonstrates genuine interest in trying to sexually harass someone or obtain pictures from them. Last picture that they shared, at least as far as I'm aware of, is... 
Oh, and then in between this and the next picture, I just had a screenshot of them working with me on a meme for April 1st, um, in which they did like a fake podcast of themselves as like a sort of Nick Fuentes figure, um, and like had me coming on to say something about denying COVID. The final thing that they posted from me is a statement, at least as far as I'm aware, Oh God, it must be so hot. God, please let me see your ass. I, this was not meant intentionally. Now, a month later after that statement, Miso and I were talking about making a meme um, relating to a speech by Joe Biden where he talks about corn pop. In it, corn pop says, uh, Biden says to fictional corn pop, um, uh, get off the diving board or I'll come up there and drag you off. Miso Gotta refresh it again, everybody. We're at 3810. Saying, <clears throat> get a vocal synthesis neural network to eat a bunch of Biden speeches, have it spit out my script. I say, lol, good luck with that, buckaroo. Miso says, off my dick, or I'll come up there and drag you off. A month after that, Miso was auditioning to work for um, the account Miss Wife, uh, which is a meme about um, uh, it's the it's the fucking gorilla meme. Um, the what? There is Miso changed their name when I got this screenshot. Um, Miso what? said posted a month after that a meme uh, saying. Oh, I'm sorry, Snowflake. Did I offend you? Did you want a band-aid? Do you want a hug? Do you want a kiss? I will kiss you. I will do it. Right on the mouth. Come here, Snowflake. That's it. Your lips are so soft, Snowflake. Mmm, ah, Snowflake. A month after that, they posted <laughs> a Sonic feet porn. <laughs> a month after that, they posted, um, they were banned from my server. And so this is why I think that the context matters a little bit. Miso was happy to engage in sexual humor, both in DMs and on um, a, and in voice conversations. Um, and I think what happened is that we had a pretty bad falling out. Miso had always been very edgy, I think, as you can see. Um, Miso um, was ultimately banned from the server in... Um, what is this, September, October, November? I think, I guess October um, or September, the, the, the ninth month, um, where Miso says, I said, I hoped a member of the server killed herself during a heated debate. Uh, and we said, I right mean, now. even if I grant you the racism thing was a joke, we've definitely warned you about telling people to kill themselves before, so this is your punishment, bucko. Uh, in short, Miso was banned for telling someone to kill themselves. And um, I, I believe, in short, that they went into, they, they have profusely attempted to try and get unbanned from my server. They have, they sent okay. me like dozens of messages. The last Who's, message they sent me was this up. one, which is, um, I should stop okay. defending Charlotte, which Sorry, I'm not talking with Destiny about are. Charlotte's take about free, not trying to be um, rude, but like fun. free healthcare or something. And then the final message they've ever sent me was, unban me, STL. What the fuck do I do to get retroactively moderated? So I think in short, Miso and I had a conversation, like a, sorry, not a conversation, a sort of friendship where we both engaged in sexual humor. Um, and afterwards, Miso has attempted to go into the Destiny server and to try and show these statements as if they were genuine attempts at sexual um, like interaction with Miso um, when they were very much not the case. Um, the main interactions that I've had positively with Miso have been around creating memes together, which we did so for months after these statements occurred. Miso engaged with, in sexual conversation with me for months after these statements occurred. Miso never expressed um, dissatisfaction with like these statements. Um, I, I think that it's really hard to think that these are genuine um, instances Sorry. of Sorry, sexual I harassment. I didn't mean to be mean, I just um, didn't know what the fuck that person was talking about. So I think Miso is wrong and is trying to paint a narrative of me as a sexual harasser because we had that severe falling out. Um, however, I just want to emphasize again, there are other instances 
um, there the, the, the mod uh, the band message that um, Destiny server posted says that multiple people have reported that I engaged in sexual harassment and misconduct towards trans women. Um, I am happy to um, I'm happy to say that I might may have um, that I I don't know why I'm stumbling over this so much. I may have misinterpreted or miscommunicated, but it was never my intention to sexually harass or sexually harm any individual. Um, so I, I, if I harmed any individual with sexual humor or sexual conversation, I deeply apologize for it. Um, it was not my intention to do so. Thanks for the follow. Um, if any person that was harmed by my rhetoric is listening now, I want to deeply apologize to you. Um, and I want to apologize for the harm that my conversations with you did to you. Um, okay. So in short, um, I am happy to admit that I may have misinterpreted sexual communications or have been excessively sexually humorous. Um, but I don't think that I ever intentionally sexually harassed anyone or especially intentionally sexually attempted to get uh, material like nudes or favors or anything like that from any individual. Um, so I guess in short, that's, that's my take there. Um, I, I can't comment, like I said before, on the, the, the cases that are mentioned that I haven't seen. I don't know what the evidence that they have is, and I don't know what the conversations in the, um, that are mentioned are. So I can't speak to whether those conversations were appropriate or not. Um, it is, however, um, my belief that I never intentionally uh, attempted to harm any other individual with my sexual interactions and never attempted to go beyond anyone's boundaries. Um, I, as much as possible, have tried to respect people's boundaries. Um, but if any individual feels that I have not, I want to deeply apologize for violating those boundaries unintentionally. Um, so in short, those are, I think, the full set of accusations against me. Most of this is focused on the sexual harassment allegations, because I think that those are the ones where a lot of false uh, statements have been spread. Um, and I want to rectify those false statements. I don't believe those to be true. However, um, I do want to say that um, if I... I basically want to say simultaneously that um, if you were harmed by the appearance of these uh, sexual um, um, behaviors, then I will apologize for that. And if any individual um, ever felt that I overstepped sexual bounds with them or was unable to perceive sexual bounds with them, uh, then I deeply apologize for that. Um, I also want to deeply apologize for um, the racist and bigoted comments that I showed at the beginning. Um, I think those comments are deeply un unacceptable. And I don't think that they are, um, I don't think that they should be accepted um, by any person with a platform like mine. Um, so the statement that I gave at the end of that, which is that it's my duty to re-earn your trust, is a statement that I still want to hold to. Um, I think that it's my duty to try and prove to people that I have like responsible sexual behavior and that I am like not engaging in racist or bigoted or edgy jokes. Um, and so it is entirely valid if you don't feel comfortable um, with my presence or in my community, um, it is my duty to try and prove to you that my presence is trustworthy and it is valuable. Um, so that's really all I have to say. Um, again, I do want to apologize for this get taking so long to come out. Um, mostly it just relates to trying to compile soon, all the evidence and then feeling uh, I'll do pretty I'll do my takes uh, after this. scared of the, the, the messages that I received on Twitter and the sharing of personal information. Um, <laughs> last thing um, that I have received on, in the moment, um, one person in chat, which I received in DMs, um, said, Though I don't feel comfortable with you at the moment, this is from Starling, due to stuff that may have happened in the past, I can honestly say that you are so absolutely stupid that you, you have never fucking acknowledged. Um, <laughs> you never acknowledged my flirting. Um, 
However, I do know a few people who have been made uncomfortable because of certain things you've apparently said in SFW fills. And so I do want to acknowledge that I may have made people uncomfortable. I don't want to try and deny that. I do want to say that I've never intentionally made someone uncomfortable and I've never intentionally pursued um, like sexual favors or nudes or anything like that. Mm. Um, so I guess that's really all I have to say about this topic. Um, and I hope that everyone who's watching has a nice evening and I hope that I can prove that I'm worthy of your trust. Oh, and as I said at the beginning, I want to donate all of the proceeds from this uh, stream to the Trans Lifeline, um, and I hope that they do great work with whatever money goes their way. Have a lovely evening. Okay, so that's everything. Um, that's the whole thing. Okay, so... Give me a second here. Okay. Hmm. No, I just... I... Um... So, here we go. We're gonna put this up here and I'll give my takes. Um... Um, okay, so, okay, so let me just, um, let me just, let me just put up a little document of my thoughts on this, okay? So, I'm just gonna take live notes here real quick, um, so that we can, we can talk a little bit, because I think this is, you know, everybody's been talking about it, and I said I would give my takes after we got it, so, um, Let's see here. So we're going to take some notes that I'm going to share. Hold on a second. Here we go. Reacting to. All right. Here we go. Boop. Here we go. All right. So. <clears throat> All right. So the facts. Most comments were from 2019, two years ago. Well, 1.5 years ago, when SDL was 20, approximately, okay? Um, SDL is 22, so 20 when this was made. Uh, I mean, I can't, I don't know that I can zoom in any. Oh, I guess I can. Here we go. Rip. Okay. Um, then we have most recent ban was from uh okay but, but well rivi yes hold on a second i'm hopping off stream i hope this is resolved because sdl has done a lot for the left in terms of research well yeah but okay but okay real quick before we go any further okay what i'm going to talk about here is not uh, a a moral conclusion uh blah 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 nothing like that okay what I'm going to do here is I'm going to parse this apology. We're going to talk about what was touched on, what are the potential problems, the fallout. We're going to, you know, I'm going to do a little a little commentary on this, okay? So my goal here is not to determine, not to be the leftist tribunal, um, you know. So if, if you'll, you know, if you'll uh, afford me just a second here, you know, um, you know, I, I think that we can actually have a, a interesting discussion any all okay all right good to know okay so real quick without any further ado order! Order! <laughs> that's it imp shut up order there you go i have i have called for order so that we can do this what's this Oh, okay. Yeah, I need a, I need a fucking, wait, did, was that loud? Was that really loud or something? Imp, shut up! Order! Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Sorry. So, apologies, apologies, apologies. Here, I, I'll, I'll make it better. 
willful. Imp, shut up! Bazinga, 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 bazinga. Baba boy. Bazinga. There you go. Um, enjoy. Okay, now have we had fun? Have we had fun? All right, sorry, I didn't realize that I cranked it. Um, I, I didn't realize it. Okay, I didn't realize how loud it was. It's fixed now, it's fixed now. All right, all right, all right. Let's continue. Let's talk about this, okay? Here we go. Okay. Oops, I fucked everything up in here. How did I do that? Okay. Ba -ba -ba. The most recent ban was from this month for alleged sexual harassment chase of course I have the Baba Booey. It's a classic. A classic. Um, a classic. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to make the stream deck better over time. Okay? A classic. I don't know what... My brain. Okay? My brain. Okay? So, let's, let's talk about what actually happened. No, it's actually this. This is what it is. It is a Razor Nostromo. A classic Razor Nostromo. Did he just get banned from DGG? Yeah, he just got banned from a while ago. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, yeah, sure. Um, okay. Okay. All right. All right. So these are the facts. Um, most of the racial comments were real. Most of the... Uh, uh, the, a series, uh, the N-word post was fake. Um, and can we acknowledge the motive from DGG? Uh, yes. Uh, if, yes. In fact, I'll probably try to bring that up so we can read it on here. Um, if we can have, does anybody have the link to that original post so we can look at it? Okay. What the fuck's a Baba Booey? Well, they think it's funny. They just think it sounds funny. So they don't need to know. Okay. So, the facts. Here's what we have. Um, all right. Now, alleged to be fake. Okay. Was allegedly fake. Uh, the, the the ban. If we have a if we have a link to the ban from from the DGG ban, so I can see the full text. Okay, thank you. So this is the one. Wait, no, wait, hold on. I gotta open this up in my actual. Hold on a second. Give me a second here. Our right to bear arms. Yeah, right to bear arms is from DGG. That's correct. That is correct. Uh, give me just a second here, so we can open this up and I can look at it. Uh, let's take a look. Is this going to even work? I don't know. Uh, it's probably trying to get me to join in here. Okay, whatever. Well, I'm probably also banned from... D I'm all I believe I'm also banned from DGG, so maybe I won't be able to. Yeah, if you've got an image, that'd be great. Um, one second. Well, we're going to talk about this, and we'll try to come to a meaningful conclusion. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. All right. So we got this here. Okay. One second. Okay. Here we go. All right. So. Of course I'm banned. I'm ba I got banned for something I didn't do. I got banned for something Mel did, by the way. DGG is uh, destiny.gg. I got banned for something Mel did. Which is hilarious, but whatever. Let's not let's not even get into that. Um, yeah, I literally I got banned for something Mel did. I'm not kidding you. Um, I got banned by association. I know it's completely stupid. Yeah, Mel was banned. Yes, Mel was banned for transphobia because she said that um, she said that uh something about like all 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 trans people in. DGG are trans medicalists and then both me and Mel got banned for that. So, yeah. Okay. So, am I friends with Mel? No, I'm not. 
I literally was I literally had a falling out with Mel long before that happened. Yeah, thank you, Trundlesk. I appreciate that. Yeah, banned by association. Yeah, I know, it's stupid. Okay. Okay, hold on everybody. Let's chill. All right. So most of the comments were from 2019, which is a year and a half ago when SDL was approximately the age of 20. Okay? Most recent ban was from this month. That was the alleged sexual harassment and chasery as the alleged allegations. Most of the racial comments were real and confirmed by SDL. The N-word post was allegedly faked, faked by this rat person. Very fucking weird. Um, very fucking weird. Um, now, uh, so let's... Yeah, faked for epic prank. That is really fucked. Okay, so let's talk about um, what is wrong with each of... So let's see. So let's see. The wrongdoing. The... Okay, the wrongdoing is the next chapter that we're going to do here. Okay, so um, let's... You're the cool rat person? Okay. Oh, crap. All right. This is going to be hard to get up on the screen without blocking chat. Here we go. Okay. But we'll start right here. The wrongdoing. Uh, just plain racist. Just plain racist. A lot of those comments were just fucking plain racist. Let's be real. Okay. Um, the commentary about... Um, the commentary in... Uh, about Africa and that's just, that was not good. That was just, just plain racist. Likewise, uh, the, the, the dick sucking joke, um, was, was, was totally also racist. Like that is just very racist. Okay. Like I, I, I gotta say like, these are just racist. Okay. Like there's no way around that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm surprised that he read that out loud as well. Um, but at the same time, uh, yeah, I hope I don't either, but it'll be okay if I do. Um, um, well, I would say like hold my burning cross racist, honestly. Uh, the one, this one, um, yeah, like, like, the, the comment that was, uh, if I could bring it up here, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, it's this one, I think. Yeah, this one right here. I, I, right here. This just also racist, just also really, really racist. Like, this is like really bad. Um, uh, the other one, which I wish I could find, I gotta find it here. I should have had this open, this thread open, but the, uh, the other one, which is here somewhere, I know it's here somewhere, uh, there's, this one was not touched on, no, wait, where is it, where the hell is it, you know which one I'm talking about, the, 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 the one about this one, this one right here, this one, see this, this, this right here, that was easy. Um, you thought the context of those racist comments took away most of the, st are you for real? Are you for real? This is, this is so bad. This is just, this is bad. Okay. Listen, there's no context. This is just not good. Okay. Listen, um, I'm sorry. This is just racist. Okay. Um, this is really, not only is this super insensitive, this is also just a bad sentiment. This is just racist and this is just weird. Okay. I I'm sorry. This is all just very weird. Okay. So this racist and weird, this racist and weird. Okay. The wrong doing just plain racist discord logs. Now, 
He said the context was that he was arguing with fascists and was trying to counter some race realist arguments. Okay, um, let's talk about that, all right? Let's address that. Debating race realists? I'm doing my best, okay? I'm trying to be as fair as possible, and don't worry, we're going to talk about this as extensively as I can, okay? Okay, let's, let's, let's try to focus. I know everybody's got a lot to say about this, okay? Debating race realists. Okay, is this not... Is this not... Um... <sighs> Okay. Is this not basically the tactical N-word defense? Like, it's not a debate. Yes. Like, like, but this is not even, like, this is, wor this, okay, not, I, I, listen, I recognize it, it's worse than that. It's worse than the tactical N-word. This is worse than tactical N-word, in my opinion. This is just worse than tactical N-word. Um... Like, at least with the tactical N-word situation, you can make the argument that, like, you were trying to take power from the Nazis who were trying to use that as a way to be racist, and you caught them off guard. Okay? Still stupid, but, um, but, but, yeah. This is worse, in my opinion, than the tactical N-word. Um, there is, like, honestly, I cannot imagine... What would possess somebody to type this one here? The one that was right before this? Ever. Like, at all. Like, where the hell did it go? It, it's so annoying. To, this. Right here. This line. I, I can't believe anybody would, would type this ever. Like. Uh... Tyler the King, not the time or place. Okay. So let's just be real. Those were just plain racist. Okay. Okay. So I don't, I don't think this is a particularly strong argument. Okay. We're going to go like this. Okay. What other wrongdoing? Okay. Let's, let's talk about the, uh, yeah, I do I do note that. Yes, I will note that. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just relax. Okay? Let's chill. Okay? We're gonna get through this, I promise. It's really we're just gonna analyze this and be as fair as possible. Okay. Other wrongdoing. Okay. Um so anti Semitism. Now, from what I can tell, um, racism is a big deal, OG cookies, actually. Um, but we're going to go through this first and then afterwards we can talk. Okay. All right. So the anti-Semitism. Okay. There's a lot to unpack here. So you all just fucking chill the fuck out and we'll get to it. Okay. Anti-Semitism. So from what I can tell on this particular point, the anti-Semitism was, um, the, was mostly contained in the fake comments. Am I not, am I mistaken on that? The, the, as far as I can understand, the allegations of anti-Semitism was, um, was, was, was in the fake logs with rat. Yeah. Okay. So. Anti-Semitism, we can probably say that this one is not likely not legitimate, is what we can tell, okay? Yeah, okay. So, next thing, other wrongdoing. Uh, the destiny, the D... Dot .gg ban for harassment and uh sexual pre uh i don't know sexual harassment 
Okay, so there are a few ones. Do you have those, LSM? If you have those, I would I will I will correct this. Okay, yeah. No, what the fuck are you talking about, OG Cookies? That literally doesn't make any sense. Yes, uh, yes, the questionable wording though. Okay, now Jenny Boo Boo, this one I do have insight on too because questionable wording was copied directly from the co from the the um from the uh the 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 studies that were being used. So, give me a second here. Okay. Oh my god, there's a lot of angry people right now. Okay. I can see there's a lot of angry people in chat right now. Well, we'll get there. All right. Well, looks like we'll be having some maybe we'll have some um some debates here. Um Okay. So, yeah, we got some angry chatters. Mostly in YouTube chat it appears to be. Where where was I going to go here? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. So, where the hell did that thing go? Where did I put the... Ah, here it is. Okay. Okay, thank you, Ellison. I'll check that in just a moment. So here we go. Banned by this user. Consistent behavior on and off the server of sexual harassment and misconduct towards trans women. Destiny, if you decide to unban them, then I hope you talk with us beforehand for the compiled logs. If when they change, we can get, let them back into the community. But until then, there are enough folks uncomfortable with their presence here that it warrants an indefinite ban. Now, this, in my opinion, is pretty wow. Okay? Because, like... Um... Because, like... Like, like, the the... The logs would be great, but if this is this is real, by the way, I, I I know this ban is correct. Like this ban is real. We know this ban is real, but we do not have the logs, and I don't believe that Destiny has said they're going to cooperate with it. However, um, as I understand it, they're gone. So that's well, we don't have them. They're gone, as far as I understand. So, yeah, the logs are gone as far as I understand because, and that's where we're going to get to here. Um, here we go. A DGG gets zero credibility. Okay, but here's the thing. I, I understand where you're coming from, Lonnie, but to be fair, in this particular case, um, in this particular case, um, DGG had no motivation to throw SDL under the bus at the point that this was happening. The ban originally went through in at the very tail end. Yes, we watched the stream synth. Yeah, uh, don't worry. We're 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 doing our best. We're just going through the process of 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 putting together a document. Feel free to sit down if you'd like to. Um, you know, I'm trying to. We're reacting to the the stream, and we're trying to get the facts straight and all of the claims, and then we're going to try and do that. And GG DGG threw SDL under the bus without the logs. Well, at this point, yes, but um. The the chat on uh the chat on screen is the website chat. Yes, that's the chat one on, from from the website. Dimamama.com forward slash live. Okay. Um here we go. Uh the logs. We don't have the logs. If I see the logs, I'll believe it. When a similar thing happened to Vosh, he was super quick to leak the logs. I don't get why this time they're gone. Well, we don't know, right? Now, if anybody can correct me on that, if anybody can get the logs, um, then that would be something that we could look at. But right now, we do not have the logs, okay? Um, and, yeah. Um, so, this is the, 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 the DGG ban. SDL deleted everything. That's what I was about to touch on. Okay, here's what we're going to talk about. This is where things get messy, okay? Okay, wrongdoing. Discord nuked. Okay. In my opinion, 
this is this is bad, right? Like, this is bad because now we can never get the logs. The mod done left server is gone. This is gone. Uh, yeah, I I understand. I understand, but we but uh, synth. R r yeah, I I realize. Yeah, I I I agree. I I can understand that completely. But keep in mind, we're not to that portion of the of this part yet, yet synth. So Discord nuked, Twitter nuked, and the reason why I put this under the wrongdoing segment is because in this particular circumstance nuking discord and nuking twitter means that nobody can possibly know whether that part is true or not we know the racism was true and we don't there's apparently let me check on this one real quick it's literally just my game plan logs. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Now I dox my Valheim server. Here, I'll shut it down so that we don't get inva invaded. There we go. I'll have to change the password. Whatever. Fuck it. Speaking of dox. There we go. All right. Now I don't have to worry about it. Um. Anyway. It's okay. It's just my it's just my Valheim thing. We can just change the password. It's simple. It's really... It's super simple. I'm sorry, Silent. It's okay. It's still there. It's fine. It's not nuked. It's not bad. Don't worry. It's all good. Literally just have to change the password and we'll be able to continue playing. Don't freak. I oh, I know. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll start it back up. Don't worry. I'll start it back up right now. Oh my god. God damn it. Chat. Holy shit, chat. Fuck. I'm just trying to do a goddamn investigation and everything is... Mm. All right. I'm getting mad now. You... It's all right. Fucking hold on. I'm getting back in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fucked up the Denny's, okay? I'm trying. This is hard as shit. You know what? Fucking... Anyway, I'll get Valheim going again, and then it'll be good, okay? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm reopening it. Here we go. There we go. Because it's not that easy. We would need to know what to look back, look for in Wayback Machine. Wayback Machine doesn't save everything. Okay. Nobody tried to get in, but I didn't want to take any risks. Okay. Here we go. All right. This won't be... All right. I restarted it, and I sent you the new thing, okay? All right. Oh, wow. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, <clears throat> you can get back in now, and it'll be all good. It'll be all good. It'll be all good. Okay? All right. Let's fix this. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, this is the reason. Sorry if uh, sorry if I missed some comments. I don't know if Synth is still here. I feel like at this point, they have already, they have already, uh, they have already archived all the stuff they were trying to cancel them for. If they were trying to dox him, it's a safety issue, and he did what he had to do to protect his personal info. Okay. I don't agree, necessarily. Okay? Um, racist GitHub deletes. Um, t yes. Tof, tof, most of those were, were, were the quote-unquote racist GitHub deletes were them getting rid of language that was in the studies they were using. I don't think that's a fair critique to say someone was being racist for using the exact same um uh the exact same language as the studies that they are pulling from when making anti-racist documents i think that is an unreasonable um criticism okay so we're not going to list that like i i think that's a very silly i don't even want to i think that's fucking stupid and a stretch okay so um so um the wrongdoing okay the race, just plain racist Discord logs, okay? Seriously. Um, the anti-Semitism. This I need to verify right now. So I'm going to check on the DMs that I was sent, and we will see if we have anything that has been verified. Okay? Let's take a look here. Okay.
Okay, here we go. Let me see here. Okay. All right. So. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay. So, here we go. Let's bring this up here. So, these are legit logs. Okay, I didn't realize that these were le legit logs. Okay? <sighs> here we go. Uh... Okay. Okay. Um, these are a little weird, but at the same... Now, now, this one, we know this one. Now, this one was discussed. This one was discussed, okay? You walked into drama, Meadow, sweetie. We're doing our best, okay? So, this is... Um, this one was obviously a joke. Like, this is obviously making fun of somebody. We, I think that's fair, okay? I, I, I think that's fair. Like, I think it's cringe, but let's be real. Now, um, this is certainly, uh, this one is, like, horny and a little bit what I would call, um, what's the term? Uh, not benevolent. What's the, benign? benign racism or benign anti-semitic or benign i don't know do you, do you know what i'm saying like this is uh, this is objectifying okay this is um objectifying but i wouldn't say that this is like strictly anti-semitic okay yeah it's fetishization it's a little weird but i don't think that i i think yeah uh, publicly this is fucking stupid like, that's just f fucking stupid. And yeah, I think it's a little sexist. A little bit. But, like, honestly, this is nothing compared to this, okay? Like, this is basically nothing in comparison to this, okay? Like, let's just be real, okay? This is cringe, but it ain't this. Sorry, this is just racist. Um, oh, really? Is that true? Okay. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. Here's what we will do. We will say, we will put a note here. We will say anti-Semitism, cringe jokes, slash benign prejudice. I'm Jewish, and this is just weird, cringe, juvenile, not really anti-Semitic. Okay, yes, this could be, um, here, here's what I think. Can I add another pair of quotes? Okay, hold on a second, though. Let me talk about, about this, okay? Um, let's just, uh, Benign may be leading to just plausible deniability. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about, right? When I'm talking about benign prejudice, it's like, there's a, this is a real term. It's like when people say that, like, oh, like, uh, Asian people have higher SAT scores. You know what I mean? Like, that is benign prejudice. But it, it actually, con it can still contribute to racism and to objectification, but it's not, like, virulent, you know? Um, and I think that... Um, yeah, I agree. I, I think that there's truth in both of these perspectives that we see in chat here. Yeah, it is what we call benign prejudice. It is, it is not benevolent. It's not good. It's just not virulent. Yeah, there's a whole lot of these things. It is objectifying. It can contribute to a greater, um, a greater area or a greater environment of racism. Okay, so there. Okay. DGG ban for harassment and sexual harassment. This, the fact that it's, that we don't have the logs for this is rough. Okay? Okay? Discord nuked and Twitter nuked. In my opinion, these were bad moves. Okay? These were bad moves. Nuking Discord and nuking Twitter means that, and I understand the reasoning. 
But nonetheless, no, Discord did get nuked. Discord did get nuked. Okay. I mean, messages were deleted, okay? Lots and lots of messages were deleted. Am I incorrect about that? I lost you with which example? With with with, with which example? Okay. Oh, no, because okay, the the that is an example of benign prejudice. Making a stereotype of a positive straight of yeah, it is racist. It's still racist, but um, it is okay. Okay then. Okay, perhaps I'm wrong then. I I was under the impression that uh that the um it's worse than benign racism because okay um okay. I feel like we're getting lost in some of the details, okay? I, I feel like we're getting lost in the sauce a little bit, okay? Can we... We're getting lost in the sauce, okay? We're getting lost. I agree. This is the wrongdoing segment, okay? Then let's just put it this way. Cringe jokes and prejudice objectification, okay? Is that satisfying to everyone? Okay. We are getting lost in the sauce here. Jesus Christ. Marinara, thank you. Thank you for guiding us back. Okay. Yes, yes, I agree. Yes, that is the thing. It's it's not a good thing. No stereotypes are good, okay? All right. So. Okay. Now we've got the wrongdoing down, okay? These are hard. So. Let's talk about the apology. Okay. So, this is going to be the the immediate reaction section um where I talk about my thoughts on it and and we go from there. And then finally, we'll do a conclusion at the end. So, I was very surprised with the focus on um, the DMs with some people that I don't know who they are. Um, I don't know why um, they made that decision to focus on those so much, especially when the by far worst thing here was these. The just plain racist Discord logs. So, um, critiques is what I'm going to put first. One. So, let's get here. So, the first critique. Way too much time spent on frivolous... Frivolous DMs with... Um, unfamiliar individuals slash too many in-jokes. Okay. Two. Not enough time spent uh, addressing and confronting the worst of the allegations. Okay. Um, in my opinion, um, yeah, way too many testimonies. I, I personally think that adding like all those testimonies, um, were, or, or t I don't even know if it was a mistake to have any of them were overbearing. Let's put it that way. They were overbearing. There was like five or six testimonies and there was a lot of time spent to those. Okay? Um, 
I think the uh, monetizing the stream was a huge mistake. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to reach out to, to SDL and we'll see. And possibly, we'll get into that, okay? The monetization of the stream at all was a mistake. And, however, however, I, I know, I know, I know, hold on. Monetizing the stream at all was not a good idea. It would have been better to simply not, okay? Then, it would be better, and then here's the problem. Donating proceeds to charity seems uh, tasteless. Okay? That, that sounds fine. It's a little tasteless. Okay? Like, I, I, I get it. Tasteless or performative. There was a lot of bad reactions to that. And can I elaborate on why I consider it tasteless? Um, yes. Um... Hillary Douche, I'm going to need you all to chill the fuck out. I'm taking my time thinking about this and giving my takes. Fucking chill. Thank you. I love you all very much. Okay? Okay. Please do not use that term, but thank you. All right. So monetizing the stream at all donates donating the proceeds to charity seems a little bit tasteless or performative it would have simply been better to not um no puppy puncher because they match the proceeds okay that's fine but here's the thing i'll i'll explain this real quickly the reason why i think that this feels a little bit tasteless and performative is because it would have been better to simply not monetize the stream at all or completely ignore monetization, okay? Um, and it does come across as throwing money at the issue. It does seem a little bit virtue signaling. This is why I say it seems a bit tasteless and performative. It's not, it, it's not the worst mistake ever, but it is a little bit, yeah, Not Jason, maybe. Donating is performative. Streaming a leftist message is grifting. When people say fellows like SDL need to work to improve their trustworthiness, what do they mean? There doesn't seem to be much that someone can do that won't be viewed cynically. With all due respect, I understand that the, the inability to get any positive behavior or any positive charitability from anyone, okay? I have got nothing but uncharitability for most of the internet. I understand this. I talk about this constantly, okay? Constantly, okay? Now, I don't think that anything that I have said here comes off as particularly uncharitable to SDL, and I'm trying to do my best, but what I'm getting in chat is a lot of people who won't even let me finish my take or hear me lay out my case yet. So... What I'm going to say here is that there are many things that someone can do to not seem cynical, but I have critiques here none the less, okay? Don't give me this fucking cancel, like, weird right-wing cancel culture bullshit. We're doing the exact thing you want us to do here. The thing that you're claiming that you have a problem with is what I'm trying to do and you are complaining actively as I am doing it. So chill the fuck out. Okay? I am trying to give a fair shake and talk about actual things that matter. Okay? I understand. But here's the thing. Okay? It is... I'm sorry. People might not like it. But this right here, this is going to piss a lot of people off 
Rightfully so, okay? There are a lot of people who are going to be rightfully pissed off by public by public logs that say things like this, okay? I'm sorry. But that is a thing. And if you are a leftist who talks about progressive issues and you have public logs from uh from two years ago, even, you're you know, that's not very long that look like this, that's gonna be that's gonna be sus for a lot of people, okay? That's gonna be sus, okay? So I am trying to be as charitable and 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 reasonable as possible here while still acknowledging, hey, that shit's pretty bad. You know, if I had, if I had, uh, it, you know, if I was trying to, if I was, you know, I'm a trans, I'm trans, I'm trans. And if I was going to be watching somebody's content and I found out that they have, um, you know, that they had said something like, fuck trans people, TBH, in the past, that would make me go, hmm, I don't think I'll be following that person. Okay. Yeah. So. Just saying. Just saying. <sighs> Let's continue. Okay. So. Monetizing the stream. And now there's another problem with monetizing the stream. Okay. Which is. And this is it. Main allegation. Was racism. But. Donations go to Trans Lifeline? That's a bit weird. Okay? It's just it's just a little odd. Okay? Yes, this is a very messy drama, okay? But that, but see, that's the problem. That's why this donation is a little bit, um, fucked, right? This is why this donation is a little bit, this is why the donation thing is a little fucked. While I get why you say the main thing is racism, most allegations were about the trans chaser stuff. Not that I've seen. Now, they spent the most time on those in their video, but from what I've seen, the main... Um, the main problem was the racism, okay? So, these are critiques. I am being critical right now. I know this is tough, and we'll try and figure it out, okay? So, critiques. Five. Laughing at the jokes. Oh, okay. Another one. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be severe here. Um, bringing up... Bringing up the uh bringing up the the black nationalism book book and wretched of the earth by Franz Fanon um i think that this was an optical mistake Uh, looked like a prop. Yes. Well, but that wasn't... I didn't know that I was going to be doing drama tonight. This happened while I was streaming. So... It, it was. Yeah. It, I think that people will look. And remember, these are my critiques because I know that I'm not going to be the only one... Um, I, I'm not going to be the only one talking about this. So I think it's fair... For me to bring up that this was a big optical mistake. Okay? Okay. Okay. So way too much time spent on, on, on frivolous DMs. Not enough time spent addressing and confronting the worst of the allegations. Testimonials were overbearing. Monetizing the stream was a bad optical mistake. Bringing up the black nationalism book and Wretched of the Earth was terrible optics in my opinion. Um, and yeah. So, and then the critiques, of course, six, deleting everything is, makes you look guilty as fuck. 
okay? It just does. I'm sorry. Deleting everything makes you look guilty as fuck. It really does. Um, yeah, I do think reading out the messages was not good. Basically guarantees memes will be made of it. Okay. These were the mistakes, okay? Insta clips. Yes, I agree. Yeah. But <sighs> Okay. So. All right. Praise. Okay. Yeah, I guess um, I apologize. I think I, I've been corrected. I think it's any, I think, I think Sock Done Left uses any all at this point. I apologize. So I will correct that. So there we go. That's what I have been told. I've been informed that that's the case. So if I am incorrect, correct me, please. I'm doing my best. The pyro apology? I don't know what pyro, py, the pyro apology is. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Okay. So, let's continue, okay? Let's continue, shall we? We are we are in we are in the the thick of it. Pyrocynical? Oh, I don't remember who that is. Um, uh, isn't that like a big streamer or something? Okay. Is that correct? Any all? Uh, I think, I assume Synth would probably know. Big YouTuber. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. <sighs> okay. Now. <clears throat> Praise. One. Displaying all... All major allegations, wrongdoing, was a good move. Laying your cards on the table. AKA, laying cards on... I, I think a stream is better than a video. Doing a stream, yeah. So, displaying all major allegations, wrongdoing, was a good move. Um, AKA, laying cards on the table. That's a good move, in my opinion. Two. Keeping calm and not overly focusing on the self. Okay? This is probably good. On self, not the self. Okay? Okay. So, displaying all major allegations wrongdoing was a good move to the best of 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 their uh, of their abilities okay keeping calm and not overly focusing on self is good now there were some issues with this like for example i think the frivolous dms um i think the testimonials was a failure on this but overall for the the it's a 30 minute video and most of it is good okay i'm gonna give the i'm gonna give them credit for that three um I think doing a live stream is a good idea. More genuine. Uh, people can critique. Okay. I want to just make, I think I missed something here. Took responsibility. And. Also. And also. Yep. Acknowledged. And focused on trust, on restoring trust. These 
are good, okay? This is this is good. This is really good right here. I've talked about this before. I've I've talked about this before, okay? So, I think this is good. What about apologizing even after he demonstrated that he didn't do what he was accused of? Hillary Douche, I think you're just an idiot. There we go. I think Hillary Douche might just be a, like, critically, like, a, a critically idiotic. Holy shit. How fucking, how fucking stupid can you be? Jesus fucking Christ. Some people literally, yes I do, salmon plus rice, I do. <sighs> okay. So, here we have it. Hello. Hello. So, okay, let me explain why what they said was stupid. They're being sarcastic, first of all, and then they said stupid things that try to make it seem like they like nothing went wrong because they're trying to sell everyone in chat a message of, can of cancel culture gone wrong when Sock Dunn left openly admitted that they did things wrong here. So Hillary douche is just being a stupid, uh, what's the right word? Opportunistic, uh, weirdo who's trying to make it seem like, uh, like, uh, like cancel culture has gone wild. Okay. It's stupid. That's fucking stupid and annoying. Okay. I don't want to deal with it and I won't. Okay. So now there's one other section that we need to talk about. Okay. The fallout. Okay? This has nothing to do with the apology or the wrongdoing. This is talking about the fallout. Okay? So. The fallout. Doxing. Totally uncalled for. Even if Sock Dunn left was a virulent racist in a discord that does not justify doxing family members and uh, uh, other forms of and uh, that does not involve doxing family members swatting uh, threatening life calling phone irl etc sorry um that is not that's totally uncalled for and completely and unequivocally wrong two um fake dms uh this uh totally uh, absolutely abhorrent ruins uh, uh muddies the water makes everything worse for everyone. Of course doxing is illegal but I don't we're not talking about that. Okay? Okay? Makes everything worse for everyone. Uh rat person a uh, rat needs to rethink their approach to friendship. Okay? Sorry a rat. What the fuck? were you thinking what the fuck were you thinking with that jesus goddamn fuck okay three uh uh misinformation this is inevitable misinfo is inevitable online however 
it is made wor worse by motivated reasoning and arguments. Okay? Um, however, it is also made worse by the lack of logs. Deletion, mass deletion, while somewhat understandable, makes this entire situation very, very messy. Hey, see you soon, Lady Kelgana. Have a wonderful night. Go get some rest, okay? SDL is a treasure. People are just looking to be angry, which is sad. There is so much to be upset at already in this world. No, okay, I'm sorry. No, no. Captain Young Keat, I, no, I, I'm sorry. I, I get it. I get, I get it. But, but seriously, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll say it again. Look, I'm not saying that SDL is a bad person, but, but seriously, I'm sorry. Let me just show you this again. People getting mad over this are not wrong to be mad over this, okay? I'm sorry. People are not mad, are not wrong to be mad over this. I understand that you're a fan, but you need to be able to, like, put that aside for a second, okay? Okay. Yes, I do read Twitch chat. Just at a slower rate, okay? Look. Okay. So, misinfo is inevitable. However, it is made worse by motivated reasoning and arguments. Um, shouldn't misinformation and fake DMs be in the same section? No, because fake DMs is disinformation, not misinformation. Misinformation is an accident. Disinformation is intentional. Misinformation always happens on the internet, okay? It's, it's hearsay. It's... Um, et cetera, et cetera. That was in 2019. Yeah, that's pretty recent. Okay, I'm sorry. A lot of people are going to be a little, uh, are going to be a little, yeah. Yeah, but that's because Bad Empanada is a fucking moron. Okay? I'm sorry. It's just true. Okay. Um, yeah. So, misinformation is inevitable. Um, it's made worse by motivated reasoning and arguments, okay? People w are, get excited. People are mad. They they want to get up and, and, and get frustrated about things. And uh, they will retweet things that they haven't verified, etc., etc. However, the lack of logs has made this worse. Because now you can't prove most of the things that were talked about here. Some of them you can. But a lot of them you can't. And that sucks. That is really bad. That's just bad. It's it it just is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So all right, is there anything else in the fallout that I haven't touched on, okay? Is there anything that I haven't touched on in the fallout? Is there anything I need to bring up? Is there, it just, it just if chat, if there's anything I haven't thought of, I got the doxing, the fake DMs, and the misinformation as the fallout, okay? I guess we could talk about, uh, no, we're not making predictions, no. Um... It's 2019 rough. It's a shit look, but I feel like a year before 2018, my favorite content creator Vosh was arguing the N-word in private was not problematic, and that is problematic as fuck. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Let's let's do that. Um. I I I know, but busy B, I don't even think it's necessary to talk about that. In fact. Like, oh, that's another critique I need to add. That, hold on, here we go. We need to add this into here, okay? The testimonial. Testimonial with Pepe in it was, holy fuck, why did you do that? 
And then testimonial talking about barely legal thing. Holy fuck. Why? What the fuck? Why? Okay? There. I'm sorry. Mean, but but it's just true. These were just so foolish. I have no idea why that was done. I don't know why those were included. I don't know why the people who wrote them would do that. Uh, yeah, I know, but come on. That's so, that's so out there, okay? So, Twitter, Discord, and YouTube harassment, okay? Inevitable. No, but it's SDL's fault that they included it. Like, if my friend wrote me a statement, if my friend wrote me a statement that said, you're not a rapist, Pepe, I would be like, uh, f are you, f are you for real right now? Are you fucking for real? Like, like, it's not that you would want to rewrite it, but like, come on. That's just so bad. It's just so bad. I think they did do that to a certain degree, Just Allen. But. Yeah, but still. But that's so, it's just so bad. Ravus. Yes. Holy shit. Relax. Oh my god. I already, I just said I was going to do that. I just said that, okay? It's okay. I mean, you just got to listen to the stream. I'm the streamer, okay? We'll react to this, okay? We'll, we'll do it, okay? Okay, but we have to get there first, okay? Twitter, Discord, YouTube harassment, okay? Listen, inevitable, okay? Like fucking Thanos, okay? That doesn't mean it's okay. People are stupid on the internet. However, let me state this again. When you say the following line in a public discord and people see it because it's in a public discord, people are going to get mad. And you're a public figure. Yep. People are going to get mad. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And as a result, some level of YouTube, Twitter, and Discord harassment is going to happen for something like this. And I don't think that it's entirely wrong, right? Um, if I had logs of that, I would expect that. Now, people are not unreasonably mad. Um, and, and remember, it is a simple reality of life that when you're online, not everyone's going to think, hmm, has this content creator I'm frustrated at already heard this before? You all know that's the case even here. It's even more so when people are justify justifiably angry, okay? Okay. Yeah, Panic Stasis, take it easy. You were just in a... So we got Mel's take in here. Oh, uh, hold on. We'll take a look at it. Okay. <sighs> Honestly, he should not be a part of the trans community. It's okay, Panic Stasis. Mel is a fucking... Okay, let me state this real quick, okay? Everybody, you ready? Ready? Are you ready? Mel is a fucking idiot, okay? An inflammatory troll who has no self-control when it comes to Twitter and constantly says stupid, 
moronic things often without even realizing it, okay? There you have it, okay? As it turns out, not liking somebody is a pretty bad reason to try and say, this person should not be a part of the trans community. It makes no sense, first of all, because you don't get to decide who is a part of the, uh, of the trans community, but it's also just fucking stupid, okay? So there you go. That's, that's, the, we can, I think we can all agree on that. Classic Mel difficult to parse tweet that will be read as inflammatory, but she'll claim it meant something else or nothing, lol. Actually, I don't even know if she knew what she was saying here. I'll be completely honest. I don't think Mel knows what she was saying here, if I'm completely honest. Fair takes are as bad as can be. Okay. Okay, so now that we've settled that, I don't know what, they're not, they're just being stupid. They're just getting, they're just getting clout. It's clout farming, okay? Don't let Mel piss you off, uh, not meaningfully, okay? It's not worth it, okay? All right, let's continue. Twitter, Discord, YouTube harassment, inevitable, especially because of summer and the nature of the takes. The nature of the takes is going to make people mad. Public account, official brand account, uh, public discord, just plain racist. Okay? That is inevitable. This was inevitable. Okay? Is and was. Okay? And will be. Okay. <sighs> of course, there's going to be a lot of black and white side taking. So, now would be the time in which we can go look at the comments, okay? Let's take a look, okay? Because we did this the other day. What was this bullshit? You apologize my ass. Okay. Wouldn't really call a fuck ton of confirmed screenshots of you being a racist chaser and sex pest, just allegations, but I dis dis digress. See, this is the sort of thing. Um, this is the sort of thing that uh, is what I would call misinformation. Because as we know, these ones, we do only have allegations. Okay. We only have that, okay? So, again. I don't, Arthur and Rockets. There are way better ways to be a troll. And you could make money doing it. Okay, here we go. Thank you very much, ya boy Shamoy. Go get some rest. Thanks for being here. Alright, let's continue. Let us let us forge onward, okay? This about summed it up. This is just Merrick derangement. Um, Just Merrick derangement. Don't know what else to say about that. Okay, this is, this is kind of funny. Yeah, oh, oh, Synth, I know. It's, we'll, we'll touch on that as well. I will touch on that as well, don't worry. Okay, uh, not, this is funny. This is, this is funny. I'm sorry, this is just funny. I'm sorry. This is just funny. That's funny, okay? It's mean, but it's funny, okay? It's funny. Just, it's funny, okay? It's, we can, we can, we gotta, we gotta be able to laugh sometimes, Okay? Um, apology was like five out of 10. A lot of the stuff was explained pretty well, but it feels like he glossed over a lot in relation to the destiny server ban, which if I remember correctly, was from multiple people, but he only addressed one of them. Okay. So I don't know what, yeah, I don't know what, I, I, don't, I mean, this seems fine, but this is kind of true. This is a fair critique. This is like a fair critique. This is a fair critique. I, I don't really know what could have been done about this because the logs no longer or, or there's no access to the logs um, or proof of who was complaining. So uh, this is Sock Done Left. 
I will never take anything you say seriously. Uncharitable, but not the worst. Enjoyable, how all the replies are completely uninterested in how he responds and are just dunking on sub mode being on. Okay, well, that was predictable. Like, I said that, right? Did I not say that? That was a mistake? The sub-only mode was a big mistake. Big mistake. Big mistake. Bro, that defense was awful, not gonna lie. Here's my mod team saying I didn't harass them. It's not a good look. Donating the proceeds of the stream to charity just makes you look guilty, even if you aren't apologizing for slightly edgy humor and dunking on black nationalism is cuck. 3 out of 10. Okay? Harsh, but nothing particularly hateful here. Okay? What a disappointment. Repeating over and over how you weren't intentionally being racist is a non-apology given the fact you play yourself up as rational leftist every day on Twitter. You call others racist, sexist, etc. as if you're an authority on it, then saying you did not. Okay? Harsh. 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 Twitter. Okay. Sub-only apology stream is some real grifter shit. Okay. Allegations. You were caught in 4K. Okay. Again, this is what I would consider misinformation. No, you just ignore string. You just ignore chat. You go on. Here's what you do. Here's what I would have recommended. Okay. You stream on YouTube with monetization turned off. Okay. YouTube allows you to turn off all mon monetization for a stream. There you do. If you No, you can. You can, Lonnie. You just can't dual stream. If you're partnered on Twitch, you can stream on YouTube. You just can't dual stream at all. And you also can't post stuff that you stream on Twitch to YouTube for three days. Yeah, they've always let you. They act... Yes, that is true. You cannot... So, listen. Because you're not an employee... They can't lock you in to complete, um, to complete, uh, what's the term? Uh, I can't think of the term right now. Uh, the way that it works is partners have to wait three days before, yeah, no ex exclusivity, thank you. Partners have to wait three days before they can post their content anywhere else. It's, yeah, it's not completely exclusive. You have to wait three days and you can't dual stream as a partner. Okay, so there we go. Anyway, let's continue. Okay. Cool. Why did you get banned from Destiny's server? Like, the racist and transphobic shit from two years ago is bad, but why did you get banned from Destiny's server? You never explained that. We have the logs. Okay. So, do- wait, so we have who- we have who made those complaints? Wow. Why am I stumbling on my words? We have who lodged the complaints to the mods? Fuck. I, I think my brain is shutting down. Jesus Christ. Speech 100. Well, no, you want to know what it is? It's, I have speech skill of zero, but I have a, I have 23 passive charisma. So even though I'm stumbling over my words, I still come across relatively well. All right, let's continue. I apologize if you feel that way. It was a joke context. There, saved you five minutes. Okay, all right. This is going well. Okay, a little mean. Literally the drill. Okay. Recent allegations. We've all seen the screen caps. You're a racist, transphobic fraud, so delete your account and go the fuck away forever. This is really, really harsh. Really fucking harsh, okay? Okay. Just attempted to disprove the chaser claims by posting a statement from a trans woman in their server saying they've never tried to flirt with me. In fact, I've tried to flirt with him several times, which feels weird. Fair. Uh, this is just homophobia. This is just homophobia. Just like raw homophobia right there. Whoever this person is, who's this person? Right winger? Nobody. Okay. Sub only chat, blatant lies, and avoidance of literally everything. Okay. Oh, trying to save a burning ship, are we? Did you suddenly realize you'd be missing out on all the monetary gain? You're such a fucking disingenuous piece of shit. How about you go say the N-word some more? You... Now, now, this is bad. 
Holy moly, that's f amazing. Thank you all so much. Wait, it can't be a 350 sub increase. I was at um I was at 9.85. Okay, I won't ban you. I won't ban you, Hillary Douche. I I apologize for getting mad, okay? So, again, this would be categorized under uh misinfo okay we're at 9.93 we only need 70 more subs oh god maybe i'll do something bonus tonight to drive some subs okay let's we'll, we'll get there after this after this i gotta do this first okay okay subs only chat allegations hit that like button and make sure you subscribe okay so mostly just some people roasting roasting oof okay Okay. This is this is very uncharitable. Uncharitable. Yeah, it's not appropriate during this segment. I get you. Okay. A lot of critique over sub only. A lot of critique over sub only. A lot of sub only critique. Who cares about this? Who cares about this? Roasting about the sub only. Chat paywall. Apology vid. Subscriber only. Sub only. Sub only. Sub only. Sub only. Okay. All right. We've seen enough. We've seen enough. We've seen enough. I've seen enough. Thank you. Ugly pie. Appreciate that. Yep, it's time. It's time. Imp, shut up! Order! Imp, shut up! Order! Order! That's it! Imp, shut up! Order! Okay. We've had enough. We've had enough. Will I score the apology? No. What the fuck? Why would... That is so... That's so tasteless. Are you kidding me? Tell you what. You want... No. I'll, oh no, I can't even, I can't even make the joke because the joke would be tasteless. Okay, let's take a look here. Sub only chat, stay out of leftist spaces, you racist chaser creep, you, your sycophants aren't the only ones you're supposed to be apologizing to. Okay, uh, DPRK flag, okay, come on, come on, okay, come on, come on everybody. Okay. Subscriber only. Bad move. Yes, I went on many racist tirades, but in my defense, I just thought my many racist tirades were f hilarious. Okay. A little bit funny, but unfair. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Some weird trust fund thing. Irrelevant. This is doxing references here. It's pretty fucked. More people mad about the subscriber only. Roasting. <laughs> They're referencing incorrect docs, so that's good. Okay. All right. All right. I've I've seen enough of the of the uh Dare I ask what's been going on? We're sorting out the, the drama update that happened. Twitter sucks, okay? All right, we've seen it all, okay? Now, I will say, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, like, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Uh, most people were just roasting were just roasting him for the sub only. 
which, okay, that was a big mistake. That was a bad look, right? We can agree that was a bad look, yeah? Okay, there were some really bad fucking assholes in there. Definitely some fucking assholes. Um, some fuckers who went too far, as we said. Um, wait, did you, wait, what do you mean? Wait, for real? Is that true, Meaty? If you have, if you have screenshots, then bring them up. Okay. So we've done the fallout. Conclusions. All right. Okay, the conclusions. I know, we're gonna go there, don't worry. I haven't actually typed it yet. Conclusions, okay. One, SDL fucked up. Posting anything remotely like what he posted was a massive mistake a dickheaded move and pretty unequivocally racist to do okay 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 take a look at this real quick it was relatively recent yes Okay, let's just take a look at this real quick. I want to see what this is. Okay. Um, I can't even show these on stream. These, I don't know. These were not addressed. If these are real, that's really bad. Okay? Uh, these are really bad. But I have a feeling... These ones are probably fake, okay? That's really bad, okay? Like, I I'm sorry. That's really bad. This is like actual uh, anti-Semitism stuff. But wait a second. These should be verifiable. Okay, somebody... Here we go. Somebody who can search the Destiny Discord... Whoever can, if anybody can search Destiny Discord for these, um, confirm it. But until then, nothing. If you can confirm this on the Destiny ban logs or on the, um, or if they were sent there, check it and verify it. I just sent you the link there. It's the vanity clock there. I don't have access to it because I'm banned for something I didn't do. Literally banned because of something somebody else did who I'm not even associated with. But what, what can I do? What can I say? Okay. Let's continue. Okay. There we go. I don't know about this. Can't comment on this. We'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Okay. SDL fucked up. Okay. That's the number one conclusion. Okay. Posting rem anything remotely like what he posted was a massive mistake, a dickhead move, and pretty unequivocally racist. I think we can agree on that. Okay. Um, so that's the first one. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's true. I know, but we'll consider. Um, so, SDL. Okay, here, here. We're gonna we're gonna make this better. Okay. And did racisms. Okay. I'm sorry. That is true. It is true. It is unequivocally true. Okay. Now, the reason why I say did racisms is because I think that essentializing someone over discord comments, even public discord comments, even racist public discord comments should be done carefully. Okay. But yes, racisms were done. Okay. Racisms were definitely done. Okay. Um, now I don't know if that makes someone can do a racism and not be a racist? Well, I mean, it depends on your definition of racist, right? Those were sent. 
Oh, God. Those weren't even addressed. Okay. All right. Well, we have to we have to revise something then. Holy shit. Okay. This has to be updated because we just have just uh, Yeah, those were just Yeah. Anti Semitic jokes plus cringe jokes prejudice. Yep. Yep. They were not in the stream. They weren't in the video. Not that I know of, no. Okay. Those are actually anti Semitic. Like, again, here, you can all put the chat in here. Here you go. We don't have evidence it's real. Yes. Uh, those are those. Yes, we do. We do reverse. We do have evidence those were real. We were just they were just confirmed by two people. I two people who are a part of the DGG subreddit. So we do have con we do have confirmation. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk about that in the conclusions. SDL fucked up and did racism and anti-Semitism. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's oh yeah, but the oh synth, don't worry, we're not ta we're not touching the subreddit. The subreddit is a fucking hellhole. The subreddit is a fucking hellhole, and there's nothing we could, we we won't we won't take anything they say. The the subreddit is a fucking hellhole. Uh, it's just true. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for that. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Let's continue. Here's the proof. Okay. Yikers. Yeah, okay, that's so bad. Uh, synth, that, those aren't edgy jokes. That's anti-Semitic. I'm sorry. Those are edgy jokes, but it's still anti-Semitic jokes. It's j that's I, I'm sorry. That's an, that's anti-Semitism. I'm sorry. It's, it's anti-Semitism, okay? It just is, okay? It just is. Yeah, that's not, they're not razor edge. They're, they're, yeah, they're just, they just are. Okay. I'm sorry. They just are. Okay. Okay. They can be edgy jokes and yeah, but see, but when people say edgy jokes, they're downplaying it. I don't think we should downplay this. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, since that's very charitable, I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but like, I don't think we should downplay these... The, like, like people have a real reason to be frustrated. The, we're going to talk about the final conclusions, okay? We just need to get through the conclusions, okay? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Thank you, Trend Trendalisk. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I did. I got them. Yep. Yeah, they are. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's continue. We'll finish this, and then we'll go, okay? So... Conclusions. SDL fucked up and did racism and anti-Semitism. I mean, I agree, Ravus. I agree, Ravus, but that, that wish is is like tears in the rain, okay? Well, well, okay, we'll talk about that, Synth. That's fair. We'll talk about that, okay? No, thra thrashing mad. Okay, listen, I don't want to say no. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know about the ContraPoints ones, um, but that one was just weird to me. And, okay. Let's continue. Okay. SDL fucked up and did a racism and an anti-Semitism. Two. Deleting the record was a terrible move 
and made SDL look guilty. Okay, so the Contra Points one was real. Well, that was a very... That was... I do feel like that one's weird. Um, Very uncomfortable. Okay. Deleting the record was a terrible move and made SDL look guilty. Three. Sub only was a blunder. And... Uh, will almost guarantee detractors will not take it seriously. Okay, well, you can DM it to me, Trendalisk. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Regardless of comments, yeah, if you could, Trendalisk, if you want to compile, like, if you can compile all these and send them my way, I'll, I'll take them down, you know? Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. So, regardless of comments, the doxing, um, death threats, etc., all are inexcusable and do not represent any form of meaningful justice attempt at attempts at justice or accountability this doesn't do anything okay nothing it doesn't accomplish anything and it actually makes it worse for everyone involved it actually makes it significantly worse for everyone involved okay it just does i'm sorry but it just does you all might not like it but it's true okay this is nothing that does these don't do anything okay okay because of the lost logs slash private nature of the allegations of sexual harassment, um, conclusions are very difficult to come to, okay? However... How do we handle this with other people, right? If there's a lot of allegations, enough that that that, that even if you don't like, now look, I fucking have a lot of problems with a lot of communities online, and I don't think that communities online are a very good sign of justice. However, the ban. Now, maybe, maybe somebody can inform me this, but as I understand it. SDL was banned on the 31st of March of this year for sexual harassment, for multiple complaints of sexual harassment. This was long before any of this had happened. So there was no drama going on at the time, which uh, seems to indicate that the Destiny mod team pr probably does not have um, motivation to like do character assassination now i don't really get along with destiny i think i think everybody knows that however i have no problem i have no complaints with destiny's mod team okay and i assume given that they were arguing with destiny and and asked destiny to not override the bands there is reason to believe that the mods here were doing what they thought was correct Okay? Okay? Do we not recognize that? Okay? Because of the lost logs, the private nature of the allegations of sexual harassment, conclusions are very difficult to come to. However, the ban for sexual harassment came on the 31st of March 2021 
long before any of this drama sprung up. Okay. Okay, I get it, but we got to keep it we got to keep this we got to keep this as 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 fair as we possibly can. Okay? Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Really appreciate that Piftel Cakes. Okay. I'm trying to be measured, okay? And I realize I understand there's some sus, but let's be real. We don't have reason to assume malice in a strongly worded ban after multiple complaints. Now, we don't have any of the logs. They might not exist, okay? However, we all acknowledge in cases, I mean, this has been a discussion that's been ongoing because of the Me Too movement, right? Now, this is much smaller, but we generally acknowledge that because of the, because of the private nature of sexual harassment, that we tend to grant a little bit of charitability to the accused, I mean, to the accusers. Now, we do know that there is at least one person who appears to have a grudge, but that does not explain away all of them, right? One accuser does, does have a grudge, which SDL displayed on screen. This, however, does not explain why multiple people would have complained. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Six. <sighs> this is tough. Okay? Let's review. Okay, this is another one. Do we think that these comments and jokes and whatever are representative of SDL's character? I think that's hard. And this one I'm going to leave as a question because I'm not sure about this. This is the million dollar question. So let's see. Um, here we go. The question of character. Okay. So, one. We can't read minds, okay? But let's try this, okay? Let's talk about it. One. Displays that at age 20, SDL was, at the very least, very willing to engage in racist humor in order to score points with score social points slash sound cool in a debate well synth hold on a second i know you got to give me time though i promise you i'm not trying to be un unfair okay I, I promise you i'm not going to be i'm not trying to be unfair here i'm trying to weigh this out okay now two uh displays a lack of awareness about public spaces and the appropriateness of uh, state of certain comments in public. In public, okay. Three displays a lack of awareness or a lack of seriousness about secure about public. I don't even know persona 
and reputation done on official brand account okay Um, I think you're jumping to conclusions, Marissa X Death, and I would appreciate it if you would stop reposting sup uh, suspected docs in the chat. So I'm going to purge this, okay? Just a 10 minute timeout, and I'm going to untimeout you. Please don't post that shit, okay? Okay, now. Now we have to have a small discussion, okay? We have to have a small discussion, okay? So I'm seeing a lot of people talking about growing up in online spaces. I'm seeing a lot of people talking about social media. When you're young, you say a lot of people say a lot of stupid things, okay? A lot of people say a lot of stupid things, okay? And there have been concerns brought up about what is called the right to forget, okay? Okay? That if you fuck up, if you do something embarrassing, if you say something stupid, if you say something in a heated moment, um, if you made a fool of yourself, if you made a mistake, that you should eventually be able to forget. You see, we have this in real life to a certain degree. Um, I bet that every single person that I've ever, that has ever come into my chat, black, white, trans, not trans, Gay, straight, all of you have probably made a horrifically fucked up prejudiced joke at some point in your life. Some point. You might not even remember it. Um, You might not even remember it. You probably did. I, hell, you want to know what? I accidentally, said a, I accidentally said a word that I didn't know was a slur on stream once. I literally did. It was a complete accident. I didn't, I literally grew up around that term and I did not know it was a slur until I got on the internet. Um, every single person has done this at some point. Most of us grew up in racist families. Okay. Actually, it wasn't that one. Um, it was, uh, it was a, a slur for ripping someone. It's a slur for ripping someone off that I didn't know was a slur. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a slur for gypsy, uh, it's a slur for gypsy that is, has been shortened, which is also a slur, a pseudo slur. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I didn't know it was. I grew up around that word, never knew it was a slur. Got corrected. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's a slur in and of itself, but some people use it, some people don't. Yeah. Isn't gypsy itself a slur? It can be. It's not necessarily. That's what I'm saying. I know it's Romani is the proper word. But what I'm, 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 anyway. Okay? You get it? Nobody, nobody did, Synth. Nobody did. Okay? But. Shakamo, thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate that. Okay? Okay. We're, well, that's what I'm giving my thoughts right now, Fresh Horse. Um, so, let's, let's recognize that everyone has said stupid, offensive bullshit. Okay? But most of the time... When something like this happens, it's not just like some random event that you that happened when you were a kid. Okay? Let's be completely honest here. Let's be completely honest. And I want this to talk, I want us to talk about this and recognize that no matter what, the doxing, the death threats, that shit, not okay. Okay? Not okay. No matter what. So we're not gonna consider that for the time being, okay? But you'll notice that you'll notice that most people who've said a, 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 who've done a bad thing, um, who 
were hanging out with their cousins and getting drunk on a late summer night and got dared to say a slur and they said it because they were drunk and hanging out with only their cousins in the middle of the woods or whatever nonsense that you can come up with. You'll notice that most of those things happened in the context of being in the middle of, wo of the woods with a couple of your friends. And you were all probably drunk. Nobody remembers it and no one was hurt by it. That is not the same. Oh, I literally just made that up, by the way. That's never anything that I've had. No, listen, uh, James Wolf, my my dad was a crypto Nazi. My dad had in his clo in his attic a a chest full of Nazi memorabilia. So when when I if you want to hear racist stories from my childhood, I could get you. I could go up a hundred. Okay. I could I could go up way harder than that little one I made up just there. Okay. The stories that I have from my childhood. Now, keep in mind. Uh, keep in mind. Oh, oh, I can tell you some stories. I could tell you about the time that my drunk dad and my drunk un uncle went on an insane rant about Jews. I could tell you about that if I wanted to. Now, because of this, when I was younger, I learned very quickly that that was not the type of person I wanted to be. So I've been very sensitive to these things most of my life. Even though I was conservative, by the way. Even though I was conservative. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's complicated. My family was horrifically racist, by the way. By the way, just another, another quick story, okay? I had an aunt. I had an aunt physically grab my throat with their hands... Because I told them that just because they were older than me doesn't mean that they're correct about systemic racism. I'm not kidding you. I was arguing. I was still a conservative. And I was arguing with a family member that they were they were 1350-ing. I didn't even know what 1350 was. And I literally said to them, you, I don't think you know what you're talking about with regards to crime statistics. And I, and then, she, and then she, th that aunt said, um, you need to learn to respect your elders who've actually lived in this world longer than you. And then I said, I don't think it means any, just because you're older than me doesn't mean you're smarter than me. There are plenty of stupid old people. And that's what I said. And my aunt literally grabbed my throat. Okay. I was like 16. My family was apeshit, okay? You don't need to be sorry. I've, I, I, it was actually rather funny because my aunt was so weak. If I had actually, if I had actually fought back, her, her arms would have snapped like, like twigs, but whatever. Um, but it's all good, okay? Now, this is what I'm saying, okay? Most people's, like, experiences of saying stupid, um, of saying stupid, racial bullshit or saying a slur with their friends in private happens in private. It doesn't have much of an impact. Okay? That's not what we're dealing with here. Okay? This was done on a massive, massive public discord on the on on a on a public account that's associated with a with a lefty content creation brand okay this isn't just drunk in the woods with your racist cousins and you do a racism okay so i don't want us to like downplay that okay now on the other hand SDL is still very young. Young people are not always the wisest. And I do think there is evidence to say that SDL does not hold deeply held prejudiced views at the moment. Okay? 
SDL is 23, I believe. I believe they were either 20 or 21 when this happened. So, yeah, you can't really say 16, okay? Well, yeah, but... Okay. Okay. So, there's a lot to consider there, okay? This is why I wanted to bring this up, because I think this is an important discussion, right? Now, I think there is a serious conversation to be had about the right to be forgotten, okay? Right? Like, for example, I... I'm very happy that probably nobody remembers the time in high school when I tried to sit down next to at at lunch next to the girl that I liked and I fell and literally smacked my balls on the back of a chair and then fell over and spilled my lunch next to the girl that I had a massive crush on and it was horrible. Did she laugh? No, actually, she was super nice. And she was like, oh my god, are you okay? Sweetheart. Part of the reason why I liked her. Um, But, uh, but I was embarrassed, you know? No, she was a super sweetheart, by the way. Uh, spaghetti almost fell out of my pockets, but yeah. Oh, but she was a sweetheart. She was a real sweetheart. So. I don't remember. Probably, I don't know. I made a lot of uh, salami sandwiches at that time in my life. I really liked salami sandwiches. I would make them myself. Um, spaghetti almost, spaghetti almost fell out of my pockets. Yeah. Um, so yeah. You know, like, I, I think that there is a real, real conversation to be had about the right to forget, to be forgotten. However. Do you acknowledge he could be a bad faith actor trying to grift to be able to hide in the open, similar to the way the Nazi party portrayed themselves as communists? This feels to me like a mask slipping moment. I do acknowledge that is a possibility, but I think that is a very low possibility. That does not make sense, given all of the other evidence at hand. It is possible, but I think that is the most uncharitable possible interpretation of everything going on here. Like, really uncharitable. Um, I don't think it's impossible. We would, it's, the, such things have happened before, but I don't think it's likely. And, uh, and yeah, it's unlikely, very unlikely. You'd suggest it's more probable. I mean, r really? I feel like that is a that is a very very uncharitable interpretation. So, yeah. Well, it, it's any all, so it's all good. SDL seems like they were an edgy idiot, but it's all kind of shit and messy. Okay, Marissa. Marissa, I'm sorry, but if you think, if you think that SDL is a representative of COINTELPRO, like, uh, like, oh, Jesus. Okay, let's, let's cool, let's cool that, all right? That's so, like, that is literal conspiratorial paranoia. I'm sorry, but that's true. That is, there is no fucking evidence of that whatsoever. Yeah, but that's because they're stupid, Lonnie. I mean, look, I think that there are, listen, I think there are some posters on the internet who have major CIA energy, but it's not SDL. I'm sorry, just not, not the one, okay? All right. And I'm not telling you who it is. Anyway. 
Yeah, you know. You know it. All right. Obviously, they would. No, I don't think Brianna Joy Gray does. Vosh is C. Oh, no, they got Legacy of Boom. They got Legacy of, of Boom. Okay. Yes, yes. Silent, great point. Historically, wasn't Cointel Pro being very revolutionary in order to convince leftists to break the law? A sock dem is like the opposite of what they did with the Black Panthers. Yup. Yup. So if you want to know who those are likely to be, keep an eye on that. Okay. Silent coming in with the good st good takes. Wait, are American SDL dating? As far as I know, yes. Yes. Hello, uh, CO2 Seismic. Thank you. Good to see you. Okay. Okay. All right. We're getting off task here. Okay. We're really getting off. Okay. What I'm trying to say is it's complicated. This is complicated. So SDL does, at least from my read, appears to not like actually care about some of these issues. Like, I don't think, um, that's true. I am the top ranking member. Exactly. I am the, the leader of it. Um, what I'm trying to say is that um, I don't think that somebody who doesn't care about racism is going to um, spend hours and hours of their life writing up a document, an anti-racist anti -racist documents. I'm sorry. I just don't think that's the case. Um, I think that it is much more plausible to me is a much more plausible situation that SDL got caught up in being um, edgy and being a debate bro and was very careless. I think that what we've seen here with regard to character is that SDL is very careless about public places, about public spaces and public statements, okay? I don't think there's any evidence they're crypto I don't think there's any evidence of anything. Now, have they been really stupid with some of their statements? Hell yeah. Did they do, were they were those statements racist and anti-Semitic? Yep, no doubt about that. Um absolutely. But does that mean that they are irredeemable? Does that mean that they should be deplatformed entirely. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think they can fix this. Now, I think that they made it harder for themselves by a number of decisions. But I think they can fix this. And I think they can restore uh, trust, though it's probably going to require some work. Yeah. Not excusable, but redeemable. Yeah. Absolutely. It's not about repenting. Repenting doesn't really do anything. You see? SDL isn't done. They're just in the forever cancel zone like Vosh and Merrick. Okay, but there's a problem. Merrick didn't do jack shit. Vosh has done shit. And, okay, maybe they're in the same category as Vosh. But they're not. In, like, Merrick, okay, like, Merrick was canceled for completely stupid reasons. I'm sorry. Merrick's cancellation is completely idiotic. And... Yeah, people are fucking stupid and don't understand that. This would have been the perfect time to have the Jonathan, Jonathan Frakes. Not this time. I need to get that one. Silent, if you find me the MP3 file and send it to me, I will literally put it on there uh, tonight afterwards. Merrick is... Um, and this is where we have to talk about Merrick. We're going to talk about Merrick after I come to my final conclusions. Okay. The question of character. Let's finish this, okay? Let's finish this, okay? Okay? 
Displays a lack of awareness about public spaces and the appropriateness of con certain comments in public. In public displays a lack of seriousness about public persona and reputation. Um. Displays a general carelessness with regard to humor and debate, bro. Clout. I don't know. Do you call that? What is that? Bravado? Okay. Now, there is the elephant in the room. Okay. And this is where, uh, this is where I do, I do agree. Well, okay. We'll get there. Okay. Let's chill. Let's, we'll get there in a second. Okay. Um, this is where we run into an issue. So the sexual harassment stuff because it can't be verified, is going to be uh, a concern for a lot of people. And I don't know exactly what can be done about that. I don't know if there's an easy answer to that one, okay? The, the, the deletion, and, and here's another thing, okay? Another thing to consider in all this, okay? If more logs come out that are worse or that are equally bad from more recently, if somebody took a picture of a log that is now deleted, that's really bad. That is going to be, that is a uh, graveyard bong, bong. That is the, the bells ringing. You're done for. SDL is done for. If there is a, if there is a log that got deleted... And, and SDL was lying about not trying to hide logs. That will not be good. That would be catastrophic. Oh, thank you. Big Orange Jew, I've had a lot of, a lot of practice with note-taking. I've gotten much better with note-taking over the years. And my notes, I'm actually very proud of my, my note-taking methods at this point. Hey, thanks for the follow, Shark. We'll talk about accountability in a second, okay? It feels weird to even mention that possibility. Well, wait a minute. That is a real possibility. That is the downside, okay? And um, for the record, that would be bad. That would destroy all trust forever. Because keep in mind, and I'm going to explain it, right? Okay? If you get caught of doing something. Oh, I know Shark. I've talked with Shark. Um, if you do something bad and then you delete everything and you say, well, no, no, please, please trust me. I didn't delete them because I was hiding anything. It was because I was panicking and people choose to believe you and trust you again when you say, no, 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 no I didn't delete it to hide anything. And then it turns out that there was something that you were hiding. That is bad. That will just, that will, that is a nuclear bomb on public trust. You will be done. There, nobody will ever trust you. Then they shouldn't. So I'm hoping, and I, I'm willing to grant some credibility or some charitability, um, to the idea that SDL is being honest here and that there's nothing else that needs to come out. Okay. So, let's hope that's the case. If it's not, all of this paperwork was 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 meaningless, okay? Now, there's the other thing that we've been talking about, which is the sexual harassment. No demon mama, we have to have a way to reform. Um Okay, listen. Oh, I'm doing great, Shark. Thank you. I hope you're doing well, too. Um, uh, this is not a discussion about re reform, pain sama This is a matter of, of, of people not dealing with your shit and not being obligated to deal with your shit. Okay? Um, okay? You... It's not a matter... I, I agree with reform, but we're not arguing reform. I think, um, I think anybody can be reformed with maybe very few, very, very, very niche exceptions. 
Like, like I don't know. There, It might not be possible to reform like Hitler or something. But we're not talking about Hitler. It's just whether this person will be allowed or trusted as a public figure. Okay? Public fi Being a public figure is a lot about trust. I've talked about this many times. And that is a fact. It is about trust. There are times where you will, where things will be unjustly put against you, et cetera, et cetera. And there has to, we, we, we like to come up with a, a reasonable approach that allows for trust to be reclaimed, et cetera. But that's not going to happen. If you lie in your apology, that trust is gone. It's not that there have no, re, wait, but, but pain sama. It just means that you can't be a Twitch streamer in left Twitch. We're not talking about somebody not being able to reintroduce to life. Like, Pain Sama, that's too ridiculous. That's, that's, you're, you're, you're not, you're not being fair in this. We're not talking about SDL never being able to do anything ever again. We're just talking about, uh, it just means SDL might have to get a job that's not being a Twitch streamer. Which sucks. But, that is a downside if you say racist shit in public discords. It is a possible outcome, okay? But I don't think we're there yet. Okay? I don't think that we're there yet. I don't think we're there yet. And that leaves our final thing to be settled. Okay? Big unknown about the sexual harassment. Okay? Uh, I'm probably going to go back to Valheim at the very tail end, but right now I'm, I'm in this. It's all good. Okay? Look, big unknown about the sexual harassment, okay? Now, we don't know. We simply don't know. Wait, oh, you sent something to me? Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Wow, that's bad. Okay. Okay, those are bad. Yeah. All right. Listen. Nah. I can't even. I'll have to do this. Look, it's just it's just the contrapoints comments. Contrapoints eugenics comments. Oh boy. Actually, I can show this one. I think I can show this one. These are verified logs. These are real. Hold on. Uh, wait, I can't. I can't show this one cuz it's got images in it. It's got people's info in it. No, wait. No, it doesn't. No, it does. Look. Okay. I'll... I'll... If, if we need to, we'll talk about this in the future. I'll file these and whatever. Anyway. There's a comment about... Um... Using eugenics to eliminate people like ContraPoints. This is arguments from public... That was actually bad, yeah. SDL said this, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's pretty bad. It's pretty weird. These were from 2019. Most of these seem to be from 2019. Okay. Yeah, those are pretty bad. So, yeah, 2019. But, I mean, come on. No, those were not in the stream. Yeah, SDL is going to be this huge for the rest of, of, of their life. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I have no idea.
cancel culture has gotten to the point where the left it's it own based on discord log for 2019 this is bad um that's not what we're talking about okay just listen we've been talking for like two hours and male rights usa from twitch chat just bumbles in here like a drunk barely able to type and comes in to completely interrupt our actually meaningful discussion you're not doing a great job representing the male rights uh, movement, my friend. Okay, Hawk says, Why do we need to keep dredging shit up? If someone's current actions and advocacy don't line up at all with their past behavior and statements, like, damn, the person in question maybe steps back for a while from discourse, comes back once everyone's had time to process. It's not just that, right? It's, it's somebody... It's the fact that we, like... People want to know whether the people that they're engaging with and trusting are um, are legitimate and trustworthy. And if they're not, people aren't going to trust them. This is, again, this is not about cancel culture. This is about trust between a public figure and their audience and their potential audience. This is uh, People are being very immature about this. This isn't a defense, but here's my response as to why these weren't brought up. These are not in the stream probably because they weren't going to be brought up because they were not Twitter screenshots. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't, I didn't expect every single thing to be, um, to be apologized for in the first one. Okay. You'll figure it out, male rights. You'll figure it out, I'm sure. How much shit can we excuse with that line of reasoning? Too much. Yeah. Yeah. SDL can just do another one. Well, I mean, that's true. I think that that might be important. But here's the thing. Okay, but... Okay, but Marissa X Death. The sex pest thing? Do you have, do you have evidence of that? If you have evidence of that outside of just a vague ban, then okay. That's fine. If you have that, then I would love to see it. But I have not seen it. I have been in looking into this for a couple of days. And while I have certainly missed some things, obviously, there are others that I have not been able to, despite looking hard for, have not been able to find. I have not been able to find any evidence of sex pest behavior. I have seen, at worst, on that front, um, uncomfortable jokes. That's so cool, actually, Revus. That's so cool. But I don't. I want to wait until I'm done with the segment to talk about it. I'm talking to everybody, okay? What is this one? Ah. Oof. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty uncomfortable, 85 to 2D, Derek. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's a pretty messy situation. The eugenic stuff is bad, but come on. Like, sex pest allegations are pretty serious. We have to take that shit seriously, okay? Yes, I agree with you, Ugly Pie. I, I, we mentioned that in this, in this critique document, okay? In this document, in this analysis document. We, uh, we, we mentioned that already. Yeah. So, <clears throat> all right. A sex pest is somebody who repeatedly... It, it's like a step below sexual harassment. It's somebody who constantly creeps on people and basically the moment any... Okay, a sex pest is this motherfucker. You want to see what... You want to know what a sex pest is? Here, I'll do an impersonation. This is what a sex pest is. Okay? You know you go to a party and and there's like... You're, you're going with your friends and, you know, you got your guy friends and you got your girlfriends and you got your NB pals. You're all hanging out, right? And then you go to the party and this one guy comes up so one guy comes up and goes, goes, looks, looks at, at, at your, uh, at your friend who's a girl who's like feeling herself. She's dressed nice. Maybe she has like a, a low cut shirt 
and the guy comes up and goes, oh, hoinga boinga, whoa, wow, ah, hoo -hoo. Woo! wow, those are some big old boobies. You want a date? That is, is a sex pest, okay? It's, um, it's not, uh, it's not necessarily somebody, and then you say no, and then they stop, but then they do it to another girl, and then they do it to another girl, and then they do it every time, basically. It's, it's a coomer. A sex pest is somebody who doesn't necessarily, like, not take no for an answer, but they're constantly horny, and they're constantly going after everybody, and they're really awkward, and they make everyone feel uncomfortable. That's what a sex pest is, okay? Also, sex pests also refer to people who, um, like, bump up against other people. Like, like, rub up against them and go, oh, oops. Not necessarily... Not necessarily groping you, but they're uncomfortable and weird. That's a sex pest. Pest is the key word. They're being a pest, but they they don't. If, if you tell them no, they'll stop. They're not like a they're not like a, a a rapist, you know. Lance once mentioned on stream that SDL reached out to him wanting to expose the major bread tubes for their large Patreon incomes. Who fucking cares? I hate that. I hate that. I actually think people are so stupid. Oh, that makes me rage. Yes, I will agree. The comments about the uh, comparative size of Ashkenazi Jew's breasts is definitely... A little weird okay it's a little weird very uncomfortable okay so okay I didn't think I'd ever say that. No, I didn't. As a disabled Jew, I find the eagerness some people have to forgive this anti-Semitic eugenics proponent kind of sus. Okay, well, to be fair, I didn't show that take on screen, and most people don't know about that one. I do find that pretty uncomfortable. I find that, um, no, Quagmire is actually bad. Like, Quagmire is, like, an actual harasser who doesn't say no and, and threatens people. Yeah, he's, he's, that's more than a sex pest. That the whole point is that a sex pest is an, is a pest, but they're not necessarily completely dangerous. I think reading Discord logs from 2019 is just bad faith. I don't think you know what that word means. Do you know what any words mean right now, male rights? Do you? But anyway, thrashing mad, I generally agree with you. I do find that very concerning. I think that would be the sort of thing that would be worth bringing up. Um, yeah. A while back, Ragdoll. I've been going on about it for a while, unfortunately. It's kind of a long segment, but whatever. Two years is really not a long time ago. I don't know why people act like it is. Yeah. What's my prescription? Well, that's what we're about to get to, okay? All right. Here we are. So let's look at our document that we've put together here, okay? Just so we can prove that I'm doing this all in good faith. Look at what we've consumed. Look at what we've consumed. Look at what we've constructed here. Okay? Look at this. Look at all this. So, we've put together a pretty reasonable case. And now, we have the final question. What should be accountability for SDL? Okay? Good night, Thrashing Mad. Rest well. Thanks for coming by. And don't forget to fo follow the YouTube channel. Follow the YouTube channel, too. Swing on over there. Here. Make sure you follow that one, too. That's where all my VODs go. Okay? All right. So. While I think that there were blunders in the apology, what I saw in the apology video was, overall, a willingness to acknowledge and accept wrongdoing. Okay? Hey, thank you so much, Med Meadow Sweetie. Really appreciate that. Okay? So, I do think that the apology was genuine. There was a lot of um, blunders. There were a lot of blunders. Um, but, 
as much of a blunder as it was to put it on sub only, I think it was a genuine mistake. A stupid mistake that lots of people are going to roast him for, but a mistake. Um, also, it does appear to me, given the context of SDL's recent work um, and SDL's uh, statements in the stream, that SDL is at the very least very interested in improving to some degree. Now, what degree? It's hard to say. Okay? I think there are some very severe things that they failed to acknowledge. I agree. But an imperfect apology is still an uh, is still an apology, okay? It still is. Welcome Raiders, eccentric What is accountability for SDL? Well, um yes I will Nire Sox. Yes I will. Um The accountability is a tough thing, right? I think that the people who are most wronged by any of this, and I think it's important when, um, I, 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 I think it's important personally to, uh, how do we explain this? I think it's important to analyze harm. Okay. Some of these statements are pretty fucked. All right. And they can bolster racist messaging. They can bolster racism. But to what degree? At the end of the day, they are still Discord, a handful of Discord posts. Um, which means that they are mostly, the main problem with these statements um, is, uh, oh, good night, Windleby. Much love to you. Um, the main problem with these statements is that they reflect poorly on SDL's character. Which means, in my opinion, that accountability is uh um accountability is is rebuilding trust and that's a hard path because that means you're gonna have to win over members of your community who might have their trust damaged rightfully that's tough but that is what accountability would look like here accountability would be winning over the trust winning or winning back the trust of those who lost trust because I do think that SDL has done some good work. I think that SDL makes some pretty good arguments. I think SDL is an imperfect person. But, sorry, SDL is socialism done left. Good night, Boltier. Hello, I would like to ask what gender do you identify as? I am a non-binary trans woman. You can use she, her pronouns with me, okay? Accountability is winning over the trust of those who have not. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, that's a hard one. And, and, and this is the problem, right? Because, um, do I have a, a term for the other site? Yes, my imps. If you hang out on my website, you're one of my imps. So the imps. Yeah. Is SDL an internet personality? Yes. Uh, SDL's apology video is up on SDL's channel. Mm -hmm. Why was making chat sub only a blunder on SDL's part? Because it means that uh, only people who are paying you can go into chat, which is not a good look. Anyway, so yeah, the final take is, wow, what a mess of a situation. And, uh, yeah, I think that the answer here for SDL is to, uh, is to prove it, you know, prove it and, uh, and make good content and do better. I, I know that sounds silly, but that is the ultimate conclusion. I don't think that this is enough to like, I don't think this is all enough to di to like justify deplatforming or disassociating with SDL. However, I think that SDL is going to have to spend some time um, seriously um, 
seriously uh, addressing this, and it's probably going to be very annoying and very tiring. How does SDL prove it? That's way too vague. I don't think so. I think that if SDL continues to do good anti-racist um, work, that will prove. That will prove that that their that their heart is in the right place. 